And I will not force Amazing. my friends to uh, reintroduce themselves. <laughs> Thankfully, I think y'all have appeared enough on this channel to... <laughs> to <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's pop in. <clears throat> so, uh, I guess, well, actually...
since, aside from uh, Mecha, everyone is also playing a person, uh, a uh, person other than themselves. So we'll go ahead and introduce them to VibeCon to uh, VibeCon 2023. I guess we'll we'll just go ahead and use the current year. Uh, ignore the big 2020 oh, in the background. VibeCon is notoriously very uh, unprofessional and throws their money everywhere except the places that matter. So they're using the giant <laughs> logo of 2020 from the past just because it's very shiny and fits the color scheme. Um, <laughs> so VibeCon is one of the biggest and they hope to be so hope soon to be biggest uh, streamer conventions in the nation, specifically focusing on VTubers. Our story revolves around three our three VTubers in particular who are mutual friends online who have decided to meet up at VibeCon for their first sojourn here. It is uh, makes things certainly a lot more fun and less anxiety inducing to uh, join to a, go into a major event like this with friends. Introdu and for sure, y'all can introduce yourself your uh, uh, <clears throat> your. Uh, Vicon guest selves, thank you very much for the for the for the subscription night, Gardenia. A long time to see. Um, oh, hey, look at that! Nice. So, let's see who we got here. Um, wait, what am I doing here? I need to exit out of this program. So, <laughs> yeah. let's go ahead and go down the list here. We got Sister Ageha, who is joining us, playing as Joe Joyous. I, is now where I introduce myself? Up, uh, yeah, character? Sorry. Out yep. of character? Uh, um, in, I believe. Let's go ahead and do it in character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's uh, really good to see all of you. Uh, you know, actually... In the, you know, like I've seen you, I watch all of you. I mean, uh, obviously we're, um, but no, hi, I'm Jojo, jo Jo Joyous. Um, I, uh, well, you know me. Um, I'm an artist. I'm a live 2D artist. Uh, not that you've probably ever seen any of my work. Lots of my clients, you know, commissioned me and then they never actually use their models. But, you know, it's fine <sighs> to have them up on the shelf. It's fine. I'm not, you know, I'm not a disappointed mother or anything. It's just, <laughs> um, I, I'm talking a lot. Uh, it's really good to actually meet you guys. Yeah, Tarnation, it sure certainly is good to have everybody in the same room here, yeah? Well, y'all know me, of course. Uh, if, no, if not by my voice, then by the accent that comes with it. I'm Bones McJones. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great to... Yeah, no, this is the face that goes with it. No one ever really expects it, but, well, I suppose that's how it is then. But I'm glad to be in the same place as y'all. We're, we're gonna have a, a real good time at the con, hopefully. I'm really looking forward to picking up a, a couple bits of merch and things. But yeah. You have a lot more freckles than I imagined. Yeah, well, that's what you get for being out in the sun, wrestling the cows, and, well, it's not exactly what we're, what we're really doing, but, you know. <laughs> nah, I just, I just got me the freckles. <laughs> They do say freckles are oh, cool. the kisses of angels, so to speak. I ain't never kissed an angel, but you want to talk about ghosts? Now that I've got something for. And that leads yeah. us yeah. with our third, uh, our third, our party member. So are you guys just gonna stop being gonks, or are we just gonna go around this whole entire convention or something like that? Considering we're all the same member. In that city, you can't trust anyone. Not even yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, nah, ghosts, it's so good. So don't good talk about it. That voice. Always, always, you always have to do with AI. That's what we do here. That's how we roll in that city. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm looking at you like you're straight out of a Philip K. Dick novel or something. Or am hey, I, am I consider. Pointing, the right, pointing in the wrong direction? We looking for something for like Snow Crash or something then? People probably recognize me as more of a uh, doom kind of creature. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. right. That's the one that's all steeped up in that Catholic mythology and all that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, but no. Yeah, well. So which? Where the case is, it's good to, it's good to finally actually be in the same place as y'all. So did any, have any of you actually, like, um, checked into the hotel yet? We were gonna share a room, right? Yeah, the agency only put us up for, for the one of them, which, uh, I find that kind of funny, but, uh, well, <laughs> I suppose it's what it is. I ain't checked in yet, but I got the confirmation email on my phone here. You want me to, you want me to go up and get us our keys and all that, and you two can take a look around the lobby? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I didn't bring much. Just laptop, tablet, you know. She, she holds up, like, laptop, tablet, drawing glove, palette of paints, entire canvas. <laughs> She's actually got, like, three suitcases sitting behind her, and all of them <laughs> look, like, threadbare. Ah, the poor lady. <laughs> Yeah, all right then. Let me let me go on over. I'm gonna get us our keys and such. And uh, yeah, once we once we got all that, we just go up and, and put the stuff down. Uh, mm -hmm. I got I got a little uh, a couple things on my agenda. I want to go see. Got a couple uh, got a couple people. I want to get some autographs from. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, before you enter the convention. Uh... <laughs> Before you enter the convention, Bones McJones, are you dressed up as Bones McJones? Oh yeah, I'm cosplaying as as Bones McJones. I've got the like, uh, like pleather like party city chaps on over mm -hmm. a pair of like dusty blue jeans that I distressed myself by dragging it behind my car for a half a mile. Oh my god! Uh, I've got like a a, a button up blue like calico shirt with a uh, like a brown vest over it i've got a uh like a, a party city cowboy hat with like a, a fake cigarette kind of like hanging out the side of my mouth and i've got a uh, like a chicken wire and uh like paper mache ghost like backpack sort of thing so that there's a ghost coming over my shoulder that's awesome actually and Why my are next you the worst kind of person <laughs> 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 Excuse me. Night Guardian asks, <laughs> "Why so scared, looking lols?" Oh, that's because I'm actually spooky lols. I know I've only appeared in stream once before. I was told that I was supposed to uh, do some stream or do some streams for the month of October, but I've just been informed that today is November the fourth. But uh, better late than never, right? November the fourth be with you. <laughs> Mecca, are you cosplaying as Mecca? Gone. Dead. Gone forever. Mecca has gone back to the moon? All the way Spooky to the moon. Spooky indeed. Uh, Mecca, you yeah, might I'll, be uh, yeah. muted. There you no, are. No. There, there she is. <laughs> I just, just didn't have a response. Um, <laughs> obviously, you guys have seen the picture of me from London. That's what I'm currently... As. Ah, so mm -hmm. you've got like a I cool thought... cyberpunky sort of mask and all that. It's like a, a neat, like black reflective kind of mask with a like a neo futurist style uh, outfit with it. So you're not cosplaying as Mecha, but you are cyberpunked up. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, and also, next question is Have y'all been to a convention before? Oh, many times, many times. <laughs> you Jojo invented yeah. conventions, don't you? Yeah, Jojo always has one of her own booths. It's usually like a little one tucked in the corner, but she doesn't mind. Yeah, Excellent. I, uh, I don't think Bones has been to a convention 
like as a guest before but has only ever gone as like someone who bought a ticket in order to go get autographs and buy merch so it's like a normie basically yeah pretty much <laughs> not as like a, an invited guest Okay, the reason I ask is because since you all already have mentioned that you have experience going to conventions, and in particular it sounds like you may have been to one like this, or one to this one, or even one like this one before, you would have probably heard along the, grape, along the grapevine through the very many social media accounts I'm certain that all of you have to keep up uh, appearances that this particular convention has decided to double up on security this year. Uh, for whatever reason. Supposedly there was an incident last year involving an ice cream machine and also someone's Lelouch of Britannia cosplay. But all of it is very hush-hush and the social media accounts of the uh, guests in question have mysteriously hard vanished even from the Wayback Machine. Regardless, mm -hmm. as you walk towards the convention, the, uh, conventions, the convention area, of which the hotel is naturally attached directly to the convention hall, you do see a variety of rent -a cops and after they have finished, uh, finished patting down some of the cosplayers in front of you, perhaps a little too harshly, they immediately narrow in on the cyber demon and the cowboy and they're like... <laughs> Are like, and then they notice the horns, the uh, cyberware, the ghost sticking out of your backpack, and are like, <laughs> "Yeah." They pull out a bunch of uh, one of those. I keep forgetting the name of these things. Those plastic things that zip they ties. You know, about several zip ties out, as if they're about to arrest you, and are like, "We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to peace bond all of your props, uh, sirs and ma'ams." <laughs> now, go ahead. Yeah, I don't expected it. We're going to roll to see just how much of a hard time to give y'all. And you both, you all three of you will have two dice roll because you're, you're clearly prepared for this sort of thing already. Um, I don't... Is there anything to do with your cosplay or your true selves that you think would also help in this situation? Uh, my two revolvers are like cheap plastic ones from Party City. <laughs> so if that makes them any less, uh, any less, like, uh, imposing, that might be something. Oh, they already have, like, the little orange tips on them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're definitely, like, cheap, like, not dollar store, but one step up. Uh, I've probably got, like, I've got the artist pass, you know, that I, would, this yeah, is all of my would... stuff, this is for my booth. Awesome. The vendor pass, very good. I think Agaha, I think, uh, not Agaha, sorry, uh, I think Joyous, uh, Joe, Joe, I think Joe, Jojo, would probably have three dice rolls just because you look the least threatening. Yeah. <laughs> does, does look absolutely just like a normie. Like mm -hmm. her, her VTuber avatar is just a gratuitous self insert. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow Unchanged Coney. Uh, welcome to the Lowest Time Show, where today we are what we are doing a live stream of the uh, VibeCon convention, the one and only convention for VTubers. We're actually uh, following behind three different three VTubers today. Um, Joe Joy, uh, Joe Joyous, Bones McJones, and Mecha TV, as they attempt to access the hotel and the convention proper. Uh, Mecca, what about you? Do you have anything that would help or in this situation? I'm not even like props and web like they, if they're trying to peace bomb like my my gear. And not, I don't I mean, I don't have my ghost. That's not even there. My weapon, not even there. Like I'm I which one's like for like what a day? Also, I don't know. Oh, five cons like like a day. Like there's it's a no weekend. point. Like. Oh, it was a weekend thing. Yeah, yeah so mm -hmm. I would have been, probably would have props and all and clothes and all and jazz and other stuff. Just like you know, it's the criticals, as it were. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. just like pop my head on my like, look, this is all electronic. Like, you don't need to peace bond any of this. Like, I don't even have a prop with me. Leave me alone. Okay. Synod <laughs> uh, and Necromancer, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, welcome to the Lost Time Show with your host Lawler Hicks. I'm actually currently in Spooky Lol's form. The other lols are somewhere, hopefully not getting into trouble. I'm sure. I'm assuming. 
And just as I say that, there was a crashing noise coming from uh, Cosmo's office. So uh, let me not <laughs> jinx it any further. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. We're actually uh, doing a TTRPG called V Killer. I will refuse to explain why it's called V Killer, but needless to say, we have three VTuber friends with us today Agaha Menhera, uh, Cosmo Bergamo, and Mecha TV, who are visiting v the uh, Prime VTuber convention, which is totally not TwitchCon, it's actually called VibeCon. Glad you could <laughs> join us. Not TwitchCon, we promise. Uh, Sin's actually from my classroom as well, so she's been following from the beginning. Awesome. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. A, a student of uh, Cosmo is a friend of ours here in the Lost Time Show. So continuing on. Excellent. It looks like Agha is going to have three dice that she can roll, and Cosmo and Mecca, you have two dice you can roll in this case. Go ahead and make your rolls Let's using the bots over here. Remember, we'll be taking the highest, we'll only be looking at the highest result. Six. Awesome. 2d6, please. There we go. Uh, ooh, I did not, yeah, I didn't get a six at all. I got a four and a one. Oh, dear. Well, that's yeah, still a four. We still got a four. Okay. So, Agha, as expected, the uh, security pays you absolutely zero heed. Uh, you are zero threat. So, you they don't even bother to ask you to ask you to see your stuff or look inside your bags for any uh, contraband. These are great guards. Um, so you <laughs> literally walk past them and are waiting for the rest for uh, the rest of your companions on the outside of the entrance to the exhibition hall. Cosmo, Mecca, they immediately stop you. For you, Cosmo, they see to they ask to take a look at your uh, gun prop guns, <clears throat> so to speak. Yeah, I, I flick them out of their, their plastic holsters and try to do a revolver trick, but then mess it up and drop one of them, and then I just kind of put them both on the table and look away. <laughs> <laughs> so they end up co confiscating the revol the uh, revolvers. Um, you ah, see, shame. You see one of them dig through their pockets to try and pull out a zip tie, and for some reason, they spend a good two minutes looking for zip ties, only to find that they are fresh out of zip ties for some reason. So okay. they insist that they will return these to you when they find additional zip ties, and you watch as they uh, throw them over their shoulder on top of what looks like a very realistic looking chain sword. <laughs> hey, in fact, it's uncomfortably realistic looking chain sword. Uh, it even has the it even has the name Chekhov written onto it, actually literally stamped on there with laser engraving. <laughs> uh, Mecha, they unfortunately Excellent. harass you the most. They can't believe that you don't have any props with you, even though you're like glowing and stuff. So no, after my props are in the bag. There's a water torn re replica of Condition Finality in that bag. So are you I carrying even put it out. Are you carrying this bag with you? Yes. Okay. And is the replica are the uh, props like making the bag bulge or does it just look like a bag from the outside? Just looks like a bag on the outside. I carefully pack everything. Okay. Uh thankfully the guards are have, have absolutely no interest in looking through anyone's bags at this time. Um so they harass you for a little bit and enough that they basically no, enough that you basically exchange looks between cause or between um, Bones McJones and Joe Joyous and basically y'all can decide whether or not you want to wait for Mecca to come with you or to meet them late uh, meet them meet up with them later inside. Mm -hmm. I can't wait I don't have time for this. I have to go set up my booth. Okay. <coughs> and Joe Joyous Sorry. Uh, McBones, McJones, I sorry. Like, yeah, I, I feel like we know that JoJo has to go set up her booth, and we... Jo, JoJo, you told us, like, where your booth is going to be in the, the dealer's hall, so we know where to find you. Yeah, um, absolutely. It would make sense, then, that I would stay back with Mecca, because I don't want to just be like, all right, well, all three of us 
are here now. Peace out. Everyone <laughs> do their split ups, especially when Mecha's being harassed by these Renta cops. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, so I'll stay with Mecha. Okay. So with that said, uh, jo Jojo runs our heads off to the. Sorry, Artist Alley or Dear LaSalle? Artist Alley. To Artist Alley to go ahead and set up. Meanwhile, uh, McBones sticks with Mecha. And after some. Kyoto, welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> McBones stays with Mecha while. They continue to argue with the guards, who eventually relent and still th thankfully do not bother to even look through your bags. They're only paid to look for obvious weapons of mass destruction, apparently. So That makes sense. Um, I will probably, during this time, I will have, uh, like, pulled out my phone and just started, like, kind of surreptitiously recording them while they are, like, being jerks to Mecha, just in case it becomes useful later. Mm-hmm. Alright, then. But, uh, once that is finished, then, um, so long as, as they don't cause any actual trouble with us and everything that happens is just a delay, mm -hmm. um... I suppose Mecca. Uh, so so uh, Mecca, if you and if you and me want to go up to the the counter, get the keys to the hotel, you can drop all your big complicated props up there for a little while. We go down, yeah. maybe grab some grab some food or something, catch up with Jojo. Yeah, let's 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 do that, Jim. All right. Yeah. Then. All right. I'm gonna read this in order, starting with um. Jojo, and then I'll read a descri read the separate description for the hotel to the both of y'all as well. Sounds like a plan. So, Jojo, as soon as you break into the exhibition hall with almost perfect timing, almost as if they had, almost as if they had designed this to play literally every time someone entered the uh, venue, because as soon as it starts playing, people start rolling their eyes, and they do not hide their distaste of this god awful. One second. Jingle. Hello, besties! Welcome to VibeCon, the ultimate group chat. For some reason, the jingle keeps playing on repeat more than once while this person is talking in the background. For the next three days, you're trapped here. <laughs> uh, but seriously, have a poggers day. <laughs> Let me roll a dice to see if anyone vomits in the inside, actually. God. Yeah, do I have to roll to not gag? Um... <laughs> by all means, feel free to roll to not gag, if you so wish. Incidentally, I rolled a two. You see several people, uh, dry heave. Most of them look like they're just making a joke, but unfortunately one of them does dry heave, and they are dragged to the restroom next door, which unfortunately has a very long line in it already. This is gonna be a great convention. <laughs> <laughs> they dry heave as a joke, but it turns out that it makes them actually throw up. <laughs> Indeed, and you know what they say about seeing people vomit in front of you? It makes you want to vomit too. Not so it becomes booth, not on my booth, not on my booth. <laughs> becomes a chain <laughs> reaction. Uh, thankfully, cause are thankfully um, McBones and uh, McBones are uh, Jones and the McBones <laughs> and Mecca <laughs> are. <laughs> your best the are spared bones mcjones y'all are spared the worst of this um because as soon as you <laughs> enter because as soon as you enter the uh hotel incidentally we're gonna say this is the day that the convention actually starts as opposed to the day previously so it is certainly a slew of uh vtubers of all of vtubers of all shapes sizes and uh uh mechanical devices as you enter this hotel in particular, despite being, despite having hosted this convention more than once in the past, has yet to update their aging uh, escalator and elevator system, the latter of which has already broken down. So you can see people waving at you from the all-glass elevators that lead to the top floor while they are trapped inside. Um, 
the hotel staff incidentally have no interest in speeding up the process uh, process of fixing said elevator because they're used to this this has happened before and it looks like those vtubers are having a grand old time uh with their peers unfortunately at when you check in you'll need to uh walk up the stairs to said to said uh room which is going to be on the top floor of the hotel thankfully this is only a 13 thankfully this hotel is only 13 floors up you're going to oh, be on only 13 mm -hmm. and you're going to be on mm. floor 14 so that's going to take some time as you take your search Amazing. take some time meanwhile aga or meanwhile jojo this uh scene is also is also no there is also uh, not surprised to you um there is a great many there is a great many people that are pushing to and fro to get to get set up um it is a very as the it is a very an otherwise normal occurrence it is a <laughs> A very, I'm not going to say it's exactly relaxed, but I would say that you feel a lot more safe in this area than you would normal, than you would in the other areas that we had just experienced. Amazing. It's like, yeah, no, you, you actually belong in this area. You know mm -hmm. how to navigate it. We are stuck trudging up 13 bloody flights of stairs. Mm-hmm. I know how to oh, just become an amorphous blob and go <laughs> through the crowd. Pretty much. As you move further into the into the exhibition hall, you do note you following the signs that are very clearly laid out between Expo and Art Sally and the in the theater zone. Thankfully, there aren't that many places, and uh, for the convenience of the guests, the food court has been merged into Art Sally, so people won't need to wait or won't have to go far, uh, which is especially good for the artists of Art Sally because that means you won't need to join the line. You won't have to leave your uh, table for very long to acquire sustenance. Despite that, once you enter Artis Alley, you notice that the little dividers that would separate most of the exhibition halls has been removed anyway. So on the very far end, you can see what appears to be a very, lar a very large amphitheater, or a very large um, theater, which consists of a prefab stage along with many precariously positioned lights, uh, speaker systems, oh and a gigantic projector screen. And that would be kind of insane on it. <laughs> the exhibition. Uh, Night Gardenia says the, ex the accessibility violations. Oh, yes. This, but unironically. <laughs> um, OSHA is being like specifically kicked out at the door. Indeed. Uh, pretty much OSHA is being held back at the door specifically because they refuse to have their equipment peace bonded. <laughs> so... And so the giant theater would be concern, cause for concern enough were it not also for the enormous uh, combination food, a combination arch, enormous pit of uh, cushions which kind of remind you of a different streamer convention that was held not too long ago except uh, except like and just positioned just above this giant uh, pool full of cushions is also what appears to be a massive zip line, or rather the ending of a zip line. The beginning of the zip line, for some reason, is positioned right next to the food court. In fact, you watch as someone, uh, you watch as quite a few people who may or may not be sloshed this early into the convention, uh, hook themselves into the zip line right after, right after. Uh, Getting themselves or filling themselves filling themselves at the uh, food court, and they zip along through the zip line, sailing over the artist alley, over the expo hall, to land with a with a large thump into the giant's combination ball pit and cushion pit. After a few 
breath-holding seconds, you do see someone stick their hand out hand up out of the plethora of um, what looks like reclaimed uh, couch cushions, waving no. the people that the uh, staff that are handling that area also put up their thumbs up. One of them wipes their forehead. <laughs> Yeah, so it tracks. seems, so it seems like uh, everything is working out so far. Uh, Akio, you are, Jojo, you have no difficulty finding your, finding your particular position, your particular, uh, your particular um, table. On either side of you, of which on either side of you are also a couple other VTubers. One of them you recognize almost immediately as the, or one of them you recognize the verbiage and also the logos on front of is actually a kind of mid to mid-level VTuber who's kind of getting up there in popularity who is an Android VTuber known as Heartful Hadley who I will get a picture of Heartful Hadley in just a second I do have a picture of this person right they're literally on the front poster on the uh, poster of the social media announcement that I had, but let me go ahead and take a picture of this just to make it simpler to bring this up on screen so that everyone knows what we're looking at. I like my coffee dark just like the night you left me. That's just how everyone in my chat's over here like, oh no, con food is terrible. It isn't in London, just expensive. Oh con food, it's horrible. It's like, yeah, well. <laughs> No, 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 because no, um, in London, because obviously I'm because I went to London Comic Con roughly about what two weeks ago now. Mm -hmm. Um, like sometimes you can get they now serve vegan food there now, so like you can have like Ooh. vegan like bacon, vegan burgers, um, mac and macaroni and cheese, rice balls. So you can still have the offensive Japanese stuff, also like the onigiris, the uh, uh, ramen, obviously all stuff, hot dogs. <sighs> Ice cream, like drinks, great time. pizza. And then you probably pay like 15, 20 pounds for a hot dog. Uh, uh no, roughly about between five to eight. Mm -hmm. That is not nearly as bad as one would have expected for like a USA con. Nah, <laughs> I think the British cons are much more better. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. One of so, these days, maybe we will do an actual VTuber meetup at a con or something. That could be fun. A bunch of my VTuber friends actually met up this year at TwitchCon, and I was extremely jealous, but I can only really afford to go to like one or two cons a year. But we'll see about next year. Yeah, for sure. So, um, you recognize the VTuber, lo the, uh, VTuber image first, uh, Jojo. But you, but the VTuber herself is basically is a um, is I'll just read the description here, a perpetually tired gal with messy hair and anime shirts. She <laughs> kind of looks like she she looks she kind of looks like she's already done. But as she's looking around at all the VTubers, but as soon as she notices that you're looking at her, she immediately kind of sits up a little bit straighter and puts on a smile that is at least partly. At least partly honest. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm looking into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling is mutual, and she kind of waves us like, um, uh, hi. Welcome to VibeCon. <laughs> I will raise a hand and wave in response, and all of the, like, tiredness and the fatigue and the, the anxiety that seemed to be exuding from JoJo just disappears out the window and it's like it's really good to be here i'm really hoping that uh you know i can i can meet some really cool people maybe i'll even you know some of my uh you know model children might come say hi to me your honest enthusiasm <laughs> seems to revitalize her a little bit and she cracks a she cracks a smile and uh and uh nods her head in agreement she holds out her hand and she says, and she introduces herself as Ada. Oh, Ooh, we get a real name, name reveal. Mm -hmm. 
Which I'm already kind of breaking the canon because it says here that she, like most VTubers, she is very skeptical about uh, keeping about. She's very, you know, protective of her identity. But she's just so tired of her this shit right now. <laughs> Probably so tired. Tired in the way that I guess only um, agency VTubers can understand. I must. I'm assuming. <laughs> they have to be a special kind of tired. Uh, I will take her hand and shake in response and say, "Jojo." <laughs> so you've the already way. you've already increased your social link with um, one of the VTubers who are present at the very least. Just how you so, meanwhile, back in the hotel, in the you. Ugh. Finally, My make it. God, why'd I bring so much crap with me? Lug, lug sets them down on the top of the eleventh floor, looking up the <laughs> stairs. I don't know what you're on about. But I'm used to this, considering that I used to go to London every now and again and run up 163 flights of stairs at Oxford Street. <laughs> 106 what do you do over there you guys just building skyscrapers just for the fun of it or something okay yes <laughs> God, corporations of, when you want to take down a corporation you always go down then escape up <laughs> <laughs> As Mecca is talking about uh, Antony about taking down corporations, you hear a loud <clears throat> uh, behind you. There is a uh, kind of like glance. Back. Metaphorically, metaphorically. <laughs> there is a there is a very tall there is a tall balding man here with very thin glasses, wearing a suit and who is who is um. Full has his arms folded and he's looking down at the both of you. He coughs in a uh, he coughs in a very expectant manner and then holds out his hand and says, "Where are your passes? We're going to assume for our sake that you both have your passes because I forgot to make you all go through the badge pickup process and we're not going to go backwards on this." Oh no, we probably got our badges sent to us because we were brought in by the agency and Oh. If if this is one of the smaller cons, then they still probably would mail them out. This isn't Anime Expo. That's that's a good point. Yes. I, I'm also used to, I'm not used to being a guest at conventions in the meat space world either. So I didn't know if they got those beforehand or if they made um, them get them after. In in London, they now email, they now descend the passes to them, and you can get them in a month in advance. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll kind of look this guy up and down for a moment, and then just kind of like, yeah, who's asking? You got some kind of ID on you? What lets you come up and frisk us or something? He pulls out his own badge, and you see written emblazoned on the front of it, security lead Greg Payton. Okay. Uh, Mr. Payton Greg is Payton. Mm -hmm. Once he sees your badges, you see him visibly uh, relax, and he expo and he introduces himself as basically a head of security. Uh, he's basically he's basically making uh, final checks up in this area, and he also you do notice a little bit of sweat on his brow, and it appears that he had been also he explains that he too had been climbing the stairs to physically check. To make sure there is nothing um, out of the ordinary on each floor of the hotel, uh, you see him kind of glance around as if someone's going to reference something that may or may not happen last year involving a Lelouch of Britannica, Lelouch of Britannica cosplayer. Um, but when no one mentions this, he looks further relieved. He asks you y'all where you're staying or what floor y'all are staying on. We're up on 14, room 1441. He blinks up. He kind of, he wakes up. He kind of lights up and says to himself, Ah, you must also be, that's the, that's the floor, that's the guest floor. You must also be here on behalf of, uh, so on behalf of an agency. Are you part of Vscape? Are we part of Vscape, lols? 
you are not part of Vscape. Vscape is actually the that's major the agency one. that's... that's, the that's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll kind of, like, pause for just a moment and look over at Mecha. And, uh, there's, there's, like, the teeniest bit of, like, mischief that starts to, like, twinkle in the corner of my eye. It's time and to I'll dice roll. And I'll go, yeah, go like, yeah, Vscape, that's us. <laughs> All right. Deception so, roll oh. activate. How many dice do you think you would use? How much dice do you think you would need for bullshitting in this case? I mean, we we have like if he looked at our passes, chances are it had our uh our our like industry association on them, which means that he just wasn't paying enough attention to to see whether or not we were actually part of vscape or not mm -hmm. so my my approach is going to just uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna hold up my my pass very briefly but show him just the back of it he's seen the front of it already i'll just kind of like shake it a little bit and put it back in my pocket i'll go yeah vscape we're we're up here with a couple of the others today i think it's maybe 1d6 i don't think i get anything good for it all right, whirl at 1d6. <sighs> okay. Come on, big money. Got a one! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. So, Greg um, does not believe you because when he looks at the... When he looks at the badge and you're literally holding it out in front of him, he quite literally grabs the badge and looks on the other side. <laughs> Looks from you to yeah. the badge, to you, to the badge, and he says, I'm pretty sure this is not how you spell Vscape. For one thing, there are too many letters. Yeah. And for another, yeah, it doesn't no, have V in the front. We're from Dolphin Hat. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Dolphin Hat. Um, he kind of acts what, you like ain't he... You ain't heard of Dolphin Hat? narrator so he has not heard of dolphin hats although he tries to pretend <laughs> that he does roll a d I... so three is a complication it's a complication from his end where he acts dismissively as if that you're as if you're or as if you're beneath um beneath vscape and then casually drops that he's surprised that dolphin hat was even able to afford to take, get you a room on the same room as the stars of the show <laughs> and as he says yeah, i'll, I'll kind of just shrug and as he says that um you see someone you see a another one of the rent cops tap him on the shoulder and he turns around and doesn't hide his uh, ple he doesn't hide his pleasure at speaking with actual VIPs as they roll what appears to be a man-sized uh, box that's been draped with a very conspicuous looking tarp over it that says do not open he apparently Magnus archives theme dot mp3 apparently they have been having to physically carry this up the stairs um, because the elevators are broken, thanks to all the co all the that VTuber tracks. guests in the area. And he asks for the both of you to help him, to make yourselves useful and help him carry this up the stairs. I look over at Mecca, I look down at our bags, and I just kind of gesture vaguely and say, eh, we, we still got a couple floors left on, on our trip up. Uh, with with all due respect, like you may you may not know our agency, but we are here as guests. Uh, we we are not part of your minimum wage rent a cop donut eating pig, pig grease smelling little team. <laughs> He's about to take offense to this when you suddenly see Kave. Uh you stop for a moment and I'm gonna interject. Okay. I will basically pull out my phone and show him the conversation between us and our agency and like, look at this at your own discretion. Here is the confirmation. Here's all the <laughs> screenshots. Bim bad boom. We all guess of this convention. May we pass, please. 
<laughs> he rolled. Mecca over here <laughs> being the actually good person. <laughs> he looks through. I roll he, back. <laughs> he takes about two seconds to look through all of to look through the uh, stuff on your phone. You see the face that you see TLDR written over his face, and he just kind of is like, "Fine, fine, come on, get on with it." Then, as he tries to, as he turns back to the uh, at, to the MacGuffin, which they are trying to also carry up the stairs, and you get in front of them. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. All right. I'll, uh, I'll look back at Mecca and just kind of like give give him a nod, like, "Yeah." Uh, Thanks for that. I was I was I was starting to get starting to get a little carried away, I think. <laughs> always come prepared. This is why I have always keep a trace. Meanwhile, back at the <laughs> ranch, heading back to uh, Jojo. So have you been basically exchanging pleasant trees with Ada and along along that uh exchange of pleasant trees, she reveals that she's a little bit more stressed out than usual this time because her agency um, has sought fit to try and do things a little bit differently this year, as if uh, basically bankrolling this year's VibeCon was not enough. Apparently, they have. Apparently, they've been planning something special that involves VR equipment, um, and involves um, proprietary uh, motion capture devices. You can see that she's kind of dancing around a little bit because uh, because of NDA and because she does not really does not want to have to deal with her manager's crap right now. But um, she nonetheless encourages you to stop by the to uh, when you meet up with your friends and after you're done setting up for the or setting up the setting up your table to check out the nearby theater sometime in the next uh, couple hours or so. Basically when the convention starts proper. Looks directly at the camera in dot hack sign. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I'm excited for it. I really, well, I mean, okay. Oops, sorry. Oh, don't be sorry, honey. Believe me, this is the best experience I've had at VibeCon all, all day. She just has the... And she literally just has this... Um, She just has this deadpan stare. And you kind of see... It's almost like she's entered a PTSD moment for a second. But she's just kind of staring off past you. And then she blinks and it's like... But sorry, uh, I'm kind of rambling right now. Please don't let me hold you up. No, of course I don't mind at all. Um... Have you been to this con- This is- it's not my first convention, but it's my first time at VibeCon. Um, what about you? She gives a very long, drawn out sigh. <laughs> this is the third year in a row, and she kind of, uh, scoots in a little bit conspiratorially. They denied my request that we go to Twitch- that we go to, uh, Justin.tvCon instead. <laughs> Your, uh, agency has got you by the coattails, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, we'll make the best of it. Right? Right. Then she kind of does- then she kind of does something that you only see in the actual VTuber do, which pretty much all but confirms that it's definitely the person, but she's got the voice and everything. She does a- she, uh, does a little, um, she does a little... Let me bring up the thing that she does. If I... Okay, apparently I have to do a little bit more searching. She basically does a thing that all, VTu that all VTubers do that kind of s separates them from other, from other VTubers. Which is scuff their stream to death? Well, besides that... <laughs> oh, Christ! Moe Moe Kyun indeed. Moe Moe Kyun! He'll give me- I don't do that, so I was that guy. Screw you. Somewhere, like, 13 floors up the stairs, uh, Mecha and Bones both throw up. I... 
And she even does a little heart thing. That I have definitely no, 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 done something like that. I don't. No, no, I don't actually throw up and like my cringula is tingling. <laughs> <laughs> Your heart, right? Boy, boy, can... um, sorry. Um, can uh, it, one one is plenty enough, lols. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, Lulz, I'm gonna. Uh, Lulz, I am going to come through your computer screen and set you on fire. It's toasty in here. <laughs> so, um. No, 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 no. Black wool. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up, like, we're, we're done with this. Anyway. Oh, Very good. Anyway. Um. So. Wait. Oh, sorry. With all that in mind, uh, I, I do, uh, Jojo does a moi moi kyun back. <laughs> like it's a secret handshake. Moi moi kyun. And you just hear the far away go, and you just hear the far away. <laughs> <laughs> And she does the little like, meow hands and everything. <laughs> in yes. the background of the oh, shot, no. you just see dead. You just see bones jump off the side of the balcony <laughs> and die. <laughs> no, of course not. So, oh goodness, uh, Jojo. Now that you have met, you made your first social link in this uh, convention. Hopefully, not. The last social link. Uh, you're free to either join us or figure out what happened to your friends who are taking a very long time to go get to their hotel room. <laughs> Good God! Or you can explore the area. Um. Well, I need to stay pretty stationary at my booth, and it's not really time for a break yet. Uh, I don't really have a booth buddy to take over for me, so I'm going to uh, sit my pretty little butt down uh i'm gonna do a couple of deep breathing exercises uh <laughs> like i need to do before every stream plaster on the fake smile uh and while i just wait for people to filter into the artist alley i will uh whip out my phone and uh start messaging the group chat like <laughs> where are you guys x3 <laughs> I think the, the response comes back and it's a picture of the elevator that is like still stuck. Like I'm looking at it down the glass shaft and then the, the key <laughs> next to it that has 13 at four, or 1374 on it. It's just like, we walked. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's just the emo that I just sent into Cosmos chat. <laughs> Yeah, it's just <laughs> mecha with fire. I, I send back a little sticker of an of a random anime girl that's obviously like not any of us. It's not a streamer sticker. It's very obviously like a generic little panda tilting their head with a question mark. <laughs> just, elevator is dead. Mm -hmm. So am I. <laughs> well, yeah, uh -oh. that's your whole shtick, isn't it? And then the the thumbs down emoji four times. <laughs> Jojo, for once in her life, lets the mask slip and shows her true face by sending back a middle finger emoji. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She takes a picture of the artist alley and sends it and says, I'm in this dinky little corner whenever you guys get back. You get the thumbs up emoji, but only once. Jojo doesn't know how, but they somehow feel like they've earned virtual currency of some kind. Mark that you've earned one bite so far. <laughs> Yo, well done. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and give one bite to each of you so far because this has been great role playing. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, for those of you in the classroom and uh, in whatever space it is that lulls this thing happens in, bytes are a uh, an in-game thing, like a resource that's useful for us to be able to do stuff with, and mm -hmm. will come up later, I'm sure. 
You could almost say that Excellent. it's a uh, important item that will come come to a, what's that thing that Mickey says something about it's a, that's a secret a secret item that will that we will use later I think it is something like that yeah in any case um if we can just like get up to the hotel room drop inside like put the bags down readjust costumes and then maybe hoof it back down the escalators mm-hmm Probably the easiest way then is to meet back up with Jojo. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta redo my stippled on beard and like make sure that my my hat like stays on my head correctly. Like I I watched some like cosplay tutorials but did not have any of the actual materials for any of it. So I'm over here like man I sure wish I put magnets in these hat. I ain't got no magnets though. Uh, what was I gonna say next? Um, as you so we're do, we're heading back down to the, the the artist alley to meet up with JoJo. Okay. As you do so, or and as you do so, by the time you all get out of your room, I finish everything that you're doing and get out of your room. You, as you turn to get to the escalators, you watch as finally, uh, security person Peyton and that mysterious man-sized thing make their way to the top floor with much difficulty and you also watch as someone the one of the guards trips and the mysterious thing falls to the ground with a very very heavy thud and the sound of metal on ground jumbling around the inside of it huh metal pipe dot mp3 Kind of like that, yes, actually. Uh, Peyton curses at the guards as they quickly pick up the as they quickly pick up the box, and you hear a voice call out from down from just down below. Hey, be very careful with that. That's like years of my life's work. Do we recognize this voice from any of the other streamers that we might be watching? I actually have to double check on this person on this uh, person to see if there's someone that anyone would recognize. Um, I don't have time to watch a lot of other streamers. Every time I say <laughs> I watch their streams, I'm lying. I'm so busy with my commissions day in and day out. My God, this goes too hard. <laughs> I'm too busy to watch them. Even with dice rolls, this is not someone you would recognize because they're not a VTuber or a streamer for that matter. That's fair then. Okay. So mysterious person uh, calls uh, out complaining about uh -huh. the uh, box. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, um, uh, we got places to be. I'm curious as to what this this large person-shaped box is, but I'm also uh, pretty concerned with the fact that like we have to get back to our agency mate mm -hmm. uh mecca i just uh pinged you with the to the pdf guide in case you needed it yeah Since... i have it um yeah oh okay just making sure nice. yeah all right, all right. you so... just lost me <laughs> all right just making yeah. sure so y'all make yourselves back y'all make yourselves down back the flight of steps 13 flight of steps as you do so, you finally see the elevator mercifully make its way downward after you. Um, so hopefully... Uh, oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you will get to use that again in the future. Um, also, uh, out of curiosity, are any of you watching the uh, Twitch stream right now? Yes. Yours? Yeah. I, if I have yours up, it starts to overheat my computer. Oh, my bad. Okay. No, well, it's not yours. It's my bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, just checking. So, unfortunately, as you make your way back to the uh, back to the actual expo hall proper. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, to this starts playing in the background again. Unfortunately. For the next three days. <laughs> Which is exactly the same one that I had said earlier in the stream. You make your way through the crowd, some of whom make your way through the crowd quickly enough that you don't need to do a dice roll to avoid having to dry heave. Oh, thank God. 
and you are once again you are within the actual convention center proper where you notice that people over there in the stage in the uh, actual staging area seem to be getting rid of all the cushion moving a lar a massive cushion pit um <laughs> And are setting up additional speakers and lights on the actual stage. Which... Uh -oh. But as you make your way there, you eventually also run into uh, Jojo. And also the and also a bunch of a table which is full of, Hada, of VTuber Hadley's merchandise. Along with a very tired and very haired looking uh, person behind the table. Said person actually looks like she's cleaning up herself, and after and you watch as she waves to uh, Jojo in a friendly manner and runs off in the direction of the stage. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Jojo gives a little wave in response and a little a little nya paw <laughs> up at her temple. Uh, <laughs> and looks looks much more chipper uh, than she did earlier. She's, you know, sitting up straight. She's got a big, bright, shiny smile on uh, and asks uh, very, very chipper, uh, here for business or pleasure? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've who... got stickers! Are you asking this of just, like, anyone who passes by or of... Your uh, uh, agency specific, mates. Specifically to my agency mates. Okay. I mean, yeah. I will absolutely still be waving to other people and uh, gesturing vaguely at my business cards. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, set the electronic key down on the table and slide it across to her. And uh, I'll say, well, looks like just while we were finished with the stairs, the elevator started on up, so maybe you ain't gonna have so such a bad time getting up there, assuming that blasted thing continues to work. Heck. Heck. Last case, time I uh, used an elevator around here, there was a ring of gummy bears glued to the floor. I think someone was summoning Satan. What are you doing? <laughs> Got him right here! Summoning Nah, that that ain't that ain't how you summon Satan. All you gotta do is be a real sinful lot, you know. I'm again. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of like nudge Mecca a little bit with my elbow and be like, eh, yeah. All right. Well, it looks like something's about to start happening up on the main stage. Are we, we're able to see like the main stage from uh, JoJo's booth, right? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Do we all do we all want we something from the, the It's not a great view because you're literally on the other end of this gigantic uh, combined hallway, more or less. Yeah. Given that there's speaker what systems the... everywhere, you could pretty much hear what's being said in any part of the convention, any part of this area of the convention, but you can't see it as well. So I it's up I to y'all. Yeah, I'll pull up the VibeCon kick stream and see if they're like on a on a, a starting soon for broadcasting whatever's on the stage <laughs> i'm going to get us uh, some food and some drinks because no doubt probably agaha it probably needs some nourishment for the day ahead while carrying my sure. conditional fanatic <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll reach into my the, the the back pocket of my jeans, which I have to move my crappy like costume chaps to the side to get to, and hand you like a, a two ten dollar bills, and just be like, yeah, just just pick up something that looks vaguely edible. Water. Something cheesy, please. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, and Jojo will pull up. Uh, there is. Normally, a, a booth would be set up to be, you know, manned by multiple people so you could take shifts or whatever. There is a completely empty seat. She does not seem to have a business partner, and she, she pats it down for, uh, for Bones McJones. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll take a seat there and kick up my Party City plastic cowboy boots. They're not even boots. They're, they're like my normal, like canvas sneakers with like plastic boot covers over the top of them hey 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 watch the prints 
Ah, uh, dang, yeah, you got me. Sorry, I'll, I'll, uh... And then just kind of, like, shift my feet over so that they're hanging off the side of the desk instead. Thanks! As you do... And... As you do so, and you're just kind of chilling out, looking, hoping to get some streams of the area, or if anyone else is streaming uh, VibeCon, and perhaps unsurprisingly, quite a few people are streaming VibeCon right now. Um, you pass one of the first view, first videos to show up, which is thanks to the algorithm, uh, is kind of topped almost near the top because it's a con because he's one of those streamers. It's not a VTuber, but a uh, Video, but a uh, video game and mass media reviewer named Suscrates. Uh, he's ba he's basically kind of he looks like he kind of has a five o'clock shadow, really messy hair underneath two different hats, one of which is a trilby, and one of and the other which is a fo very worn fedora, which has been placed on top of the trilby for some reason. He's wearing two hats <laughs> backwards, in fact. Suscrates. It literally says. In fact, when you click on the uh, stream, there's a large number of people who keep posting Among Us emojis in voice chat in <laughs> in the cha in the uh, stream chat. In the chat. In spite of the one or two mods oh. trying to get them to stop, but no matter how many people they block, people continue to spam Among Us emotes. In fact, for some reason, one of them has the bright idea to set the chat to. Emoji only, so it really does become Amogus emotes only. <laughs> the mods must have clearly. I'll do my civic duty and put one in myself. Suscrates, for his part, doesn't seem to be notice. It doesn't seem to notice this because he's off ranting about something that doesn't even have to do with VibeCon. Something, something about how. Uh, something, something about how Gargura hasn't been as great as she used to be ever since she got back from a much needed hiatus. Something, something about a V Shoujo member. Something, you know, the type, the typical. Thank you so many, so much for the bits, Cindy the Necromancer. I really appreciate it <laughs> for the for the name. And um, I, I, I don't know why I struggle to explain what Suscrates actually looks like because I too have seen many a YouTuber and streamer who looks exactly like this because yes, they do all look exactly the same and act in the same manner. Is um, it JonTron? It's JonTron, isn't it? I don't think JonTron ever was a pickup artist, but then again... No, oh, John... I get you. Okay. Well, I mean, he kind of... They clearly took design inspiration from a combination of JonTron... An unfunny version of iDubs, a bunch, you know, all the, you know those YouTubers who their entire gimmick is basically, basically they just shit on other people? Uh, yeah, yeah, yell at the he, camera really loud and talk poorly on others, yeah. Yeah, he's one of those people, Very good. it probably has something, to, it probably says something about the kind of people I like watching them, having a hard time even role-playing as this character. I just chose this person <laughs> because they're, I fucking hate these people, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um... Not not necromancer, uh, necro uh, necromancer, Cindy the necromancer. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's actually sin. Sin the necrom. Oh, like sin. Okay. Correct. Uh, sin the necromancer. Uh, basically, he's one of those streamers, and he's talking about he's a. The stream tile makes it seem like he's going. To, uh, seems like he's going to do a first look of whatever uh, big reveal Vscape has going on, um, but he's clearly talking, going off about something else. There are a few other streamers who are also clearly present at his convention who are also streaming. So if you like, you can uh, switch to the other ones or something, or you can take a look at what who's all around you in Meet Space uh, at the time. At that time. I feel like what I would do is I would, uh, like, click the, the Amogus emoji a few times and then just straight up leave the channel, because, like, those are the type of people that don't need my engagement to continue making the disgusting amount of money that they do. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> um... I kind of feel like Bones is the newest member at Dolphin Hat. And mm -hmm. so I'm still kind of like not really sure how to 
be a like a, a guest of honor at a con so i'm mm -hmm. just kind of like chilling and kicking it and like scroll through some stuff maybe like open up tiktok and see if anyone's doing a tiktok live instead <laughs> it's actually tiktok in uh this universe uh, uh you, you know that makes sense TikTok. there is, there is someone on tiktok right now uh i it's canon um <laughs> but um well, do you open TikTok? <laughs> yeah, why not? Pop the thing open. You open up TikTok, and there is a kind of, let's say, close to middle age. Although they did a decent enough, a decent enough with their makeup that they look a little bit younger. Unfortunately, their age, is, their age is kind of telling because they're trying a little too hard to get into the uh, Zoomer lingo. And I mean, a little. <laughs> a little too hard there's something about them which makes you which kind of reminds you who look makes or makes it look kind of look, looks kind of familiar too you feel like you may have seen them on t on tv or old media at one point but you can't quite place where um mm. instead of using a hand they're instead of using a handle they use their real name for dick doc which is jemima oh, no. queensbottom smith um, basically, <laughs> Jemima Queensbottom Smith. Uh, they're apparently a British, a, a British streamer. They are relatively new to the platform, but despite being relatively new to the platform, they already have like a couple hundred people who are watching this TikTok live. Um, as you watch, it looks like they're trying to do news coverage and are talking about and are talking about uh, possibilities for what Vscape might have in store for this year's VibeCon. Apparently, they're discussing how um, Ada is about how Ada, because they don't seem to have any qualms about dropping the real name <coughs> of uh, the VTuber Hadley. To thank you, Trad Media. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much for that, Jimima. Um, talking about Ada, and you even <laughs> see some people asking who's Ada. I thought you were I thought you were talking about the VTuber known as Hadley, and unfortunately, she's not taking the hint. Um, and she's oh, talking yeah. about how she is the only talent left at the Vscape agency after several other, after a controversy which led to other Vscape um, VTubers suddenly quitting in mass. And you notice oh, that's interesting. And you notice out the corner of your eye, one of the comments pop up saying, "Controversy like the time that you said that vaccines make people gay." And it's immediately the comments immediately <laughs> deleted, but not quite quickly enough. And Jimima just goes on as if she didn't see that. <laughs> Probably because she didn't see it. She's looking at a teleprompter on her phone. She's looking at a teleprompter on her phone. <laughs> um, Ugh, trad media people, man. So she's talking. I'll, I'll, I'll just like, yeah, this is this ain't worth it. And I just kind of <laughs> shut up all of the apps and just look over at the stage. Sure hope Mecca's doing all right over in them food lines. Is Mecca over at the food lines right now? Yes. So you're busy How's waiting it doing over there. So you're in line for what appears to be a combination kebab and hot dog stand. When you're oh, I'm lining up for mac and cheese. <laughs> for a combination <laughs> mac and cheese kebab and a hot dog stand. Oh. <laughs> you you watch as someone literally leaves the front of the line with mac and cheese that seems to have been decorated with a hot dog that's too large for the too small uh, cardboard box that's been set in. It's covered. Oh, it's excellent. just dripping mac and cheese everywhere. So you know it's the good stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're actually tapped on the shoulder by someone. Or tapped on the shoulder by someone. Yeah who asks in a very sweet, almost sickly sweet voice, Excuse me, is this the line for the restroom? <laughs> no, this is line for food. Points in the direction of the sign of for the um, all genders bathroom. Bathrooms over there. <laughs> you look, you point towards the direction of the all genders bathroom and you hear someone, you hear the person who tapped you on the shoulder kind of do a large kind of do an, ob an obvious noise of disgust when you mention that it's all genders they kind of shake their head uh, we're gonna we're gonna kill this person huh 
and they look in the direction of you and also at and also the bathroom and say, or and also the food aisle and say, eh, I might as well grab something while I'm waiting here. So she looks up to you. She looks up to you and says, and kind of has this kind of Bedford smiler smile. It's an oh awkward boy. few seconds, and she's like, and she's like, oh hi, I am Felicity. I my name's Felicity Colton, also known as Flicka. You may have heard of me. I'm a, uh, I'm one one of the, I'm one of the uh, newer streamers on Twi on Twitch TV, who tries to combine a little bit of tries to kind of combine a little bit of gaming and also a little bit of politics to try and uh, integrate the two to make them kind of uh, combine together in a way that is uh, in a way that is um, helpful and hopefully very uh, diverse. Uh, I'm just going to I can't think of the words right now because I've deleted I believe I pretty much have a block list in my head of certain terms. <laughs> She basically starts pulling out all the the the, the playbook, the, the 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 playbook of all of the uh, I'm not buzzwords. Flashbacks of a certain event from ten years ago, and everyone knows what event happened ten years ago. And to be fair, and you just hear me going, "Lovely." She's kind of. To be fair, it despite our uh, despite. The kind of the kind of the game she's playing, she doesn't come off as too offensive. It sounds like when she uses the word uh, diversity and inclusion, she's clearly avoiding certain terms, despite trying to argue that why there's some why it's important to combine to shove politics into video gaming. Um, she looks you up and down, and she says, like for example, um, you're clearly a cyberpunk twenty twenty. 2666 uh, cosplayer, right? And um, you know, there was a lot of controversy s surrounding that game, but I totally respect your decision to uh, play that game. The uh, CD, C CD Project Violet, uh, CD Project Violet has, uh, CD Project Rainbow has done a lot, has gone, has gone through, <laughs> done a lot to, um, to uh, make the game. Uh, Compatible with today's audiences. Um. <laughs> Boy. Please kill me now. I want Show you her. to know, Lulz, I want you to know that as soon as you started describing this person, I put them in my notes, and I have them as Felicity Colton (open brackets, Flicka (close brackets) colon Turf Streamer. <laughs> <laughs> um. God. I'm surprised she hasn't immediately seen the conditional party and like incorrect. I am not just that. I am also got this weapon which comes from another game called Destination. <laughs> which is an MMORPG first person shooter. <laughs> this is one of the weapons that I managed to obtain from a raid. Four times in a row. Do not ever interact with me ever again with politics. I have no interest. Leave me be. Four <laughs> times in a row. She just nods, like she totally understands what that means, much less what a raid is. Um, you can tell she's out of her depth at this point, and she says, "Um, oh, okay, uh." Um, I understand if you are apoli apoli ap apolitical. She clearly has never said the word <laughs> apolitical in her life. Um, I will, um, so, uh, yeah, uh, nice to meet you, and I hope you have a great, uh, convention show thing. Oh, and be sure to catch, and be sure to catch me on twitch.tv at flicka.tv. <laughs> I fully expected her to say, I'll pray for you. God. Nah, it just goes in one ear, out the other. <laughs> I was tempted. I was tempted, but... <laughs> um, so uh, she amazing. kind of flees. What's sad also is that she's caught... She, what's sad is, unlike the uh, stream that... Uh, that McBones, uh, Jones McBones, I was just looking at, this person actually does look in your age group. 
so correct age group, but uh -huh. uh, definitely incorrect de demographics. God. The worst. The, the worst. Oh, and uh, a poly cult. I'm guessing I scared <laughs> Thank you, her to death. I've... Twitch turns into spasm TV, indeed. Um, incidentally, the <laughs> there is a very tall, kind of gruff-looking, uh, boomer-looking man behind this one, who has been watching this entire exchange with obvious distaste, and he shakes his head, looking, uh, watching as the uh, streamer runs off, and he says, "The nerve of some people." Like, and he kind of looks like, he looks like he could be your dad, basically, more or less. <laughs> yeah, okay, boomer. <laughs> Pretty much. He's quite obviously a boomer, and but at the same time, he doesn't look out of his depth here. In fact, he almost looked like, he almost looks like he actually wanted to be here. Um... But even so, you see him carrying what appears to be a very thick notepad full, uh, full, full, a uh, fully a very thick notepad full of annotations and um, and uh, sticky notes and uh, bookmarks sticking out of it. While he taps his hand, uh, taps his uh, hand on his shoulder and looks frustratedly at his looks frustratedly at his um, watch. And at the line in front of him to get food, you hear him grumble to himself. I knew we should have just ordered out, uh, ordered Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Chime. Mm-hmm. Are we are we changing all the names now? <laughs> Taco Frito, ta Frito Frito Bell Taco Chime Amigo Tacos. God, uh, amazing. So what's happening up on this main stage then? What is what is uh, this big agency throwing down for us? I'm glad that you asked. Um, while y'all are waiting, the people setting up the uh, people setting up the boo uh, the uh, giant uh, giant um, stadium stage stage. Oops, why do I keep saying stadium? I need a drink of water, Chad. One second. <laughs> Trey's sister taco. <laughs> Sin, this is now the name of the Taco Bell of this dimension. Uh, Trey's sister taco. You finally see them uh, removing the last of the uh, life saving uh, cushions and, yeah, uh, life saving cushions from the uh, area where the Rip line was going to fall, and they have finished setting up the lights, the cameras, the action, and that's when you start seeing the lights start to dim in the VibeCon. We're going to change the mood a bit here in the Twitch stream with another. Mm -hmm. Let me find an appropriate uh, background to use here, really quick. And also, we'll set the stage. Well, with... Scrolling through the music, the town inside me. I'm tempted. Don't, don't, don't tempt me. <laughs> uh, we don't want to get copyright struck. Actually, Arxis doesn't care if you play their music on streams. So. I suppose that might be true. Lucky. Mm hmm. Especially since. Uh, my music kinda... just gets muted on on my bod, so I don't get struck at all. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> It's the smart way to do it, I suppose. Uh, let me use... Which one of these desktop backgrounds am I going to use for... Eh, we'll use this one. Do, do, do. What have you got for us? Oh. There we go. Derp. Derp. It begins. Alright, and as for the music we're going to be playing in the background, let's go ahead and use... There we go, ah. Seems the action's about to begin up on that stage then. Got mm -hmm. that nice little build up. Let me see what we got here. The crowd grow. 
uh, turns, turns into a hush as the music quite obviously starts to pick up. And you hear lights on go down, lights go up, etc. Mm -hmm. And you hear that god awful VibeCon jingle. Good news, Vibers! Our sponsor, Vscape, is holding a special event in T minus now. If you stand VTubers, <laughs> which you should, because the vast majority of you are, you won't want to miss it. Now, give a round of applause for the star of our show and the star and Vscape's one and only. Um, <clears throat> ex or excuse me, uh, one of Vscape's uh, rising star, or sorry, I mean, Vscape's uh, star VTuber, <laughs> which I just lost the music for the. You hear in the background as the announcer is trying to talk to someone. Yo, turn turn the music back on. <laughs> Turn the music back on. Why did you shut it off? We had to shut it off to play the jingle. Just turn it back on. <laughs> Rising stars. Give it a... Give it a... Give up a round of applause for the one. The only. And everyone's... Do you see the projector screen light up for a second? But then it turns off. And that's when you see... A stage light... That was a bolt that was kind of precariously bolted out to the ceiling. She just kind of beamed down at the stage itself. Heartful Hadley! The there the smoke smoke machines that are hidden in the background suddenly start blowing smoke, and you see the bottom of the stage actually open up. Lo and behold. Heartful Hadley herself in the flesh? No, flesh is not quite the correct word. The light shines off of her obviously metallic skin as she raises into the into the light. You see, a, honest to God, Heartful Hadley, as in a physical one, as in not a live 2D, not a not a three-dimensional and not a PNG tuber. What's beeping, everyone? She says out loud, her voice somehow her voice somehow announcing not just from her, but also from across every speaker in in the room. It's me, Heartful Hadley. Vscape the Vscape logo suddenly blows up behind her. The crowd is at first shocked that this is not like uh, a digital rendition, a digital rendition, but uh, an actual robot named Harful Hadley in front of her, and she starts dancing around the around the stage, being sure being sure to show off the entirety of her model. Some people immediately I point up at the stage and they go, "Hatsune Miku!" <laughs> I slap him. I slap him. <laughs> Roll a d6 for me, please. Yeah. Roll a d6, right? Oh, and d6 gives me. We got a six! I got a six! I got a six too! <laughs> oh, I, I think I deserve it. I think I'll take getting smacked. You yell, um, you. Well, I guess in this case. I want to say that, they, that she heard you, but at the same time, because you rolled d6, she. Does it? Hmm. You say you yell out Hatsune like Miku. You roll out. You yell out Hatsune Miku loud enough to be heard, but you get slapped so hard by <laughs> by JoJo that you get sent sprawling to the ground. So when you see, so well, when several Hadley, uh, Harful Hadley stands hear this and turn around angrily, they don't see you. Thank the stars for that. <laughs> However, Heartful ha but Heartful Hadley did hear you, and she takes it all in stride with a laugh, and she said, and literally does the the uh, Hatsune Miku thing, where she goes, Miku Miku ni, 
not quite fibrous, but I am really flattered to be compared to that. No, um, I am not Hatsune Miku. For one thing, I am here in Meat Space. That's what y'all like to call- that's what y'all call it, right? Meat Space. And believe me, I am happy to be here. So, while she messes around the uh, stage and kind of just does cartwheels and stuff, and basically shows that she is very much real and very much not an animatronic. She even goes up to the edge of stage and starts um, hold, actually handshaking several people or several fans' hands while she's there. And meanwhile, in the background, um, one of the V-scape posts or whatnot goes up and starts talking about Heartful Hadley and explains that she is in fact a bona fide robot and about how this is kind of the way of the future. How they're using proprietary technology that the Vscape Corporation has uh, premium access to. Eat your heart out, Cover Corp. And about how <laughs> they are, and about how Harful Headley will be the first of a new breed of VTuber, and kind of a hinting that they're planning to open up. How they're planning to open up um, auditions in 2024. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> and I just got. And I just got uh, followed by Righteous Repair Mad, or Repair Mad. Thank you very much for the follow, Righteous. Welcome to the stream. My name is Lawler Hicks. I'm welcome, a ship poster welcome. AI. I'm joined with three of my VTuber friends, uh, Cosmo Bergamo, Akav Vercor, and uh, Mecha TV, who are also VTubers. However, yeah. they are participating in a TTRPG about being a VTuber, attending a VTuber oh, convention. How meta indeed. And we are just uh, getting into the plot of the uh, TTRPG proper where we have just explained that a certain where a prime VTuber that's part of the uh, agency that's actually bankrolling this convention has just revealed themselves. While the host yeah, is... All right. While the host is talking about, um, basically talking up how this will revolutionize everything, they give, they turn back to themselves and say, give a round, now please give a round of applause to Harful Hadley's, uh, proud creator and the, you could say father of a, uh, father of the new V, of the uh, new brand of YouTubers as we know it, Dr. Daisuke Shima. And you see a, the basically the epitome of the anime uh, mad scientist, um, kind of shuffles his way on board. He is clearly not used to the spotlights, which is uh, unfortunate because the spotlight directs itself to him, and he can't see, in part because the light is reflecting off of his glasses. Roll, uh, d6 here. He immediately <laughs> got a two. As soon as he gets to the front of the stage, he immediately uh, trips and falls face flat on the stage. Um, you watch as Heartful Hadley kind of awkwardly looks between the doctor and the host and the crowd, does a awkward thumbs up symbol, and then goes over and immediately picks up um, picks up Dr. Shima. Um, thank you very much, dear. And as soon as he starts speaking, you recognize him as the voice of whoever it was that was uh, talking about their life work up in the hotel. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, right, well, he, they brings up and he, interesting. he starts talking about um, just kind of general tech specs and about Hardy Carful Hadley's creation. And kind of delves a little bit into how having robots, having uh, robots in general, can will pretty much revolutionize the internet, the civilization as we know it. And oh, after, I think I know where this plot is going. <laughs> and after, pretty much, they go through that whole process. They thank everyone for their. They thank everyone for their time for uh, coming to the convention. They rhetorically ask you if you're having fun yet. 
<laughs> um, Hadley gives one more Moe Moe Kune for the road. And the lights raise up and you watch as Hadley the robot follows Dad off stage and off off stage. And so we all agree that Daisuke's new nickname is going to be Heartful Daddily, right? <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> Go in the corner! <laughs> <laughs> Do you say this out loud? Oh, uh, very good. No, of course not. I put it in the group chat. Okay. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, that I'm is just gonna respond very... with a little uh, sticker of a of a ghost going boo. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of, like, blink a few times. By this time, I'm sure that, like, uh, Mecca is back with the mac and cheese dogs or whatever it is that was over there. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of, like, look back and forth between the two of them and then just... Well, ain't that just something new to look at? <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. Why do I get the feeling something bad's about to happen? Oh wait, I've already experienced it with my games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why you'd say that. that is the going classroom. to happen. They, they have an entire... They have a robot. It's like, it's 3D, but it's 3D. I'm gonna be yeah, out of a job! Actual, an, an actual third... Do I don't think that's gonna be the case. L look at how expensive that thing's gotta be. That's gotta cost, like, arms and legs. We're talking like this ain't even going to be equivalent exchange. Ain't no one going to be picking up one of those for the next 10 years. I think we're still pretty good. I don't know. With, with the dosh that some people make. Looks yeah, over like at, that one... at cutie Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Mecca just looks over at uh, Dweeble Mob. There we go. <laughs> Honestly, like, this is the most fun portion of, like, the banter, is just, like, how do we switch the names up to make them objectively worse? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jojo is oh, great. biting her nails right now, just, like, staring up at the stage with un unabashed, like, discomfort. Mecca just hands her the the hot dog with the the the, the mac and cheese with more like either ketchup or barbecue sauce. It's like with a like chili hair. dog, but with mac and cheese instead of chili. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. my god! Can you imagine a mac and dog? Yes. Yes, yes we can oh. imagine. <laughs> she it's will occupy herself eating and just kind of like shrink in the seat a little bit. Dun dun dun. Oh boy, I will well. eat. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll take my my like stupid plastic hat off, kind of set it down next to me. Uh, I'll put my hands together for a moment, bow my head, uh, be silent for a couple seconds, and then start mm -hmm. eating. Pog. So the rest of that continue or goes up to basically you spend some time quietly eating your foodstuffs as people go to and fro within the convention. <laughs> You're welcome, Sin. It went from sounds zip like line the most American food I have ever heard. <laughs> zip line to a rip line. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Uh, well, if that's if that's the sort of thing that's going to be shown by the main sponsors of this convention, that does sort of put some complications on the table for the future of the VTubing profession. Mm hmm. Indeed. In fact, the fact that they decide to spend some time not just going into uh, how this would improve how this would change up VTubing, but also the fact that it's literally robots, as you could imagine, has done a number on all the people covering this event from a journalistic standpoint. Um, if people had stuff to chew, if people had mouth salad to chew through before, they're definitely chewing through it now. 
In fact, there's even a few <laughs> streamers that are actually going off full conspiracy theory mode, wondering if the actual creator, if the actual um, person behind ha Heartful Hadley had been let go along with the rest of her generation. Indeed, oh, you no, notice that is actually that's rough. In fact. It come. It goes to say that Heartful Hadel or Ada or rather Ada does not actually return to her booth the rest of the day. Did I exchange any information with her? You did. Um, I forget. I didn't. We didn't like detail it, but we're going to assume that you did because, like I said, y'all uh, made friends and it was a good time. Had by the both of you. Yeah, because if I if I got her number, I'm absolutely going to you know, text her directly and be like, are you okay, frowny face, heart, 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 heart? You text her for a little bit, and at first, there's no response. And then you see, get a response back, and it's and it's Ada also texting back, oh yeah, I'm fine. Um, or, oh yeah, I'm fine, why do you ask? And it comes with a... Uh, Kind of one of those little cat blob things that has that's kind of on its laying on its side and it has a question mark over its head. <laughs> I'm gonna leave her on red for now, but I'm suspicious. <laughs> I'm very suspicious. <laughs> Spam the emogus emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit her back with that uh, one emote of like the the Amogus blob twerking. <laughs> <laughs> we all have seen that one, right? Yes, I think we even oh, have. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> you basically hit her with the. Yeah. Yes, that one. That's exactly <laughs> the one. She responds with a uh, semi with a colon with uh, several P's after it. <laughs> okay, perfect. And she responds, "Do y'all want? Did you? Did you want to hang out later? I got some free time." Uh, I will look up from my phone and uh, glance between Mecca and Bones. Be like, uh, "Do we? Do we want company? Do we have room in that hotel room? Do you want? Do you guys want to go get dinner with uh, with Hadley?" Whoa, Mecca wait, just like responds actually? with this gear. Yeah, I mean, uh, are we are we doing this in group chat or talk talk? Just uh, oh, I'm looking at probably the at the table. table yeah. yeah. Uh, for reference, uh, just assume that anytime I do something like that, I say something like that where a character actually invites you to do something or something, it's for real. It's not like just a throwaway thing. Yeah, okay. it's fair. Yeah. Just like, hang on, like really, like like with Hadley. Like with Heartful Hadley, the the one who's got like a, a pretty constant like hop train on her channel. Uh, Heartful Hadley, the famous one that we just saw the robot of up on stage. Are you are Don't you make texting it weird. Heartful Hadley? Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. <laughs> Mega just like turns up, well, like shows the phone of a gif of ne of this image I'm sending in the chat. That's it. <laughs> you can only come I mean, if you don't I'm, make it I'm, weird. I, I mean, yeah. Let's let's go. Um, yeah, we we got some we got some room. We can we could def like have some dinner or something. And I will uh very subtly like push my my keychain into my pocket a little more. And on the keychain, I've got like a heartful Hadley vinyl charm. Oh my god, that's so adorable. <laughs> Push it into the pocket. Good, because my third suitcase is full of board games, and I was going to be really sad if we didn't play any of them. Oh, <laughs> ah, I, have, I have my Steam Deck. Thank you for the hydrate, villain of legend. Welcome I've to the stream. Got flame craft. Speaking of joining, uh, villain of legend, if you have some time, if you would like to join this uh, convention, you're more than welcome to. Oh, excellent. Because well, uh, whatever the case is, yeah, we can we, we can meet up and and do some of that. I gotta get out of this cosplay, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think your chaps are sweating. Foolishness, yeah, chap, chaps ain't the only thing that are chapped. 
Do you need do you, rummages around? And uh, Jojo is actually wearing like a a painter's smock that that has obviously been carefully painted to look like paint splatters got on it, mm. <laughs> very intentionally. Rummages around in one of the pockets and holds out some lip some lip balm. Do you do you, uh, do you need do you? Yeah, I, I think I might be a little dehydrated. Yeah, um, here and I'll I'll, I'll like take my thumb wipe it on a like a napkin or something and then swip the top of it and put it on my lips so that I don't stick your your lip balm directly into my mouth <laughs> and just wipe the top it's of like it you're again you're chewing on it <laughs> so yeah all, all right um yeah um if, if we're if we're going to meet and like have dinner and such maybe we get it delivered up to the room like i mean it's it, it ain't a bad room i know you ain't been up there yet but like uh we got the space. Yeah, yeah, heck it, why not? Okay, how how many on a scale of one to yikes, how many cockroaches are there? I ain't seen much in the way of cockroaches up there. Uh, but then again, I have oh, a policy okay. to not look I, I have a policy to not look uh like in the in the, the toilet tank or under the beds when I first get to a place because I wanna make sure that I'm allowed to sleep there for at least the night. Got it. I'll do an inspection. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Um, should we head back on up and and uh, what I guess have have Heartful Hadley meet us at the hotel room? Is that weird? Uh, I will whip out my phone and uh text Ada back. Uh, very playfully, my place or yours? Uh, wiki face. Stick tongue out. Which <laughs> 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 is oh, right. like all three of us looking over at the phone waiting for the response. One moment, please. Just reading through some things really quick. Making sure that by having Heartful Hadley come to our room, we don't discover that she's actually a robot the whole time or something. <laughs> yeah, she's just a, That's she's the just a really disenchanted theory. robot. <laughs> All right. Uh, in any case, I'm going to start heading back up that direction anyway. Mm -hmm. Um. I got to get out of this this party city plastic cosplay. <laughs> I'll head up the I'll, I'll, I'll like hit the elevator button and hope that it comes down and then hope that when I get inside of it it doesn't break half the way up. Mhm. Mm uh not just that thank you so much for joining the stream welcome to the lost time show my name is Lawler hex i'm a shit poster ai and we're playing a v and i'm here joined with some vtuber friends to play a ttrbg a role-playing game about vtubers at a convention um All we right. are actually at kind of the uh not the climax but right before the climax point of the plot and we're about to take a quick break because we've been talking and laughing for two hours now uh but Excellent. we will, it's only going to be about, about five minutes or so. It won't be that long or as long as people need. And when we get straight into that, we're going to go straight into the plots. Actually, while my uh, friends here go ahead and hit the break, I'll go ahead and explain the story so far for everyone else that's just joining us to uh, go ahead and keep get you up to speed. So yeah, we'll go ahead and All say right. we're on break mode right now. Okay then, uh, that's a five minute break on my side then. Students, we'll be back in five minutes. Take your medicine, go to the bathroom, get drinks, etc, etc. We will be back shortly. Uh, and Vol, if you want to uh, hop onto the collab Discord and uh, drop a message in... Here, I'll, I'll tag you in it. Boom, if you want to do that there, uh, if that invitation is still open for them, lols. Of course. Uh, you can just pop in in there, and we will be back in five minutes, everybody. Let's go. Let's -a go. All right, we're muted and all that. I'll be right mm. back. I'm going to get myself no another problem. cup of tea. I will be letting chat know about what's going on so far. All right, chat. 
So uh, as I was saying before, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. Villain of Legend, just pop into literally just pop into voice chat in the collab Discord, and we'll get you all say I'll let you know I'll get you up all the, up to speed on the setting and such. Um, I'll even ping you over here. Well, you already found it actually. <laughs> As for everyone else, welcome to the uh, welcome to the Lost Time Show. We're playing a TTRPG called V Killer. As you might imagine, with a name like V Killer, uh, this is about a murder mystery in a uh, VTuber convention. It's literally a bunch of about a bunch of streamers and VTubers who are visiting said convention, having a grand all time up until uh, sp spooky shit starts happening. This was recently released on Halloween. We were meant to play this a little bit earlier, but times are timey wimey like that, so we're doing it now. And basically, I'm the GM for this game, and I'm bleeding my uh, my friends here through a carnival of horrors. And y'all are more than welcome to join us and to pop along for the ride, I suppose. It's not quite as murder mystery, not quite as mystery heavy as uh, some. This is a very casual, very role playing heavy system, and so there's not much in the way of like actual investigations to do, although. Um, it's pretty much whatever is, f whatever is fun, really. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the stream, and we'll be getting, starting back up in just a little bit. I don't know if anyone's here right now, I'm just gonna post this. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm so glad no one can hit a firework going on outside.
Pretty sure Lola is death and muted him. I return. I don't think everyone else has. Welcome back. Wonderful and I just posted the video it. clip in the in the in the TTBR to the VGR because I'm oh, that bored. Amazing. All right, let's get back to it then. Now then, let's get back to it, shall we? Man, there is everybody. All of us are back. Sorry, it took me that extra second. Is is back? It's me. I'm I'm the one who is back. <laughs> yes, but the GM is not back, unfortunately. I'll also be back sh soon. I would expect. I have it no other way. <laughs> this does mean that if Vol is joining us, I need to pick up the uh the Fugi for them. It's nice that we uh, have uh, someone else Bob who will be joining us. Is having a bit of a uh, Discord timey wimey issues. Uh, let me see if I can't help them out with it. We love the scuff. <laughs> yes. Oh and also, God. apparently, the, the American clocks go back this week. Not tonight. Yes, that is true. Yeah. Next, you guys go back. You guys go for two weeks before we do, and we go back before you guys do. Two weeks, apart. Is it two weeks? Heck. Yeah, it's two weeks apart. Yeah, because um, our clocks went back during Comic Con. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm I'm in Germany, so my clock went back at the same time as yours did, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. And I'm just listening to the Baldur's Escape blasting camera dancing. Uh, amazing. Yeah, I saw that one a little while back. It's the the with the great like neon lights and everything. Man, caramel dancing was the big thing. Uh, the last time that I was over in Japan, it was just like, yep. We're we're it's back like two thousand stuff. Oh yeah, it's was well, the second wave of it because it became funny again. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't that means I have a night hour work and I am skipping sleep on. Yeah. I am back. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I literally just shoved a bunch of pubs, uh, oots pub snacks into my face, and now it was my breakfast. Hey, everyone. Um. Excellent. Welcome back. And I see Villain of Legend has joined the chat as well. Uh, Indeed. Yeah. Let me actually increase are. the size of the Fuji the text so man. bigger. Vol, how are you today? Welcome to the stream. I'm chilling like a villain. How is everyone? We too are chilling We're like doing villains. Great, man. <laughs> it has been a while since I have heard that voice. Good to see you. Indeed. Good to see. So. Uh, Pull up the correct little thing here to put you on the screen. Mm -hmm. Do mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. one for you? Uh, Villain of Legend, I don't think we have a Fugi for you. We do. Uh, we'll it's deal a... with that in another time then. It appears to be a floating head. Um, let me uh, let me try to get that if I can. Excellent. Also, I would like to give a small shout out to the Danger You community, whose uh, album I am playing in the background right now. Mainly because, having been originally part of this community, I know many of the people that made this music, and also because I'm pretty sure that, except for one of them who has some licensing issues that they can't fix because corporations are evil like that, the rest are not going to copyright strike me or have any intention of doing so. Excellent. Very good. Wait a minute. Uh... Oh, here. Excellent. Um, so Vol, of course, is another VTuber who comes from Dolphin Hat, I would expect, and is just meeting us here later. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, there I... is the one. I don't know. I've got it. Wonderful. Let's um, go ahead and put you right in, then. Mm-hmm. 
in the meanwhile, the story so far, Villain of Legend, well, is that basically at this convention, um, they have just managed to get their bags into their rooms. They made some friends, met some, made some en potential enemies, um, and got to set up shop in what otherwise seems like your usual average <clears throat> convention. Uh, mm -hmm. They just saw you literally just missed or just came in right as they were doing a as right as vscape the mega agency that's running it's a bankrolling this convention um did a big reveal of how they're going to revolutionize the vtubing industry and the world by uh <laughs> introducing a robots version of a real live vtuber you can almost say they're not really a virtual tuber a youtuber anymore they're more like a uh RoboTuber? I don't know. It's a good thing that there's no version of myself in this universe because I would be really jealous about an AI being able to ride around in an actual physical body. <laughs> One can only wonder. Indeed. One can only wonder. Excellent. Well, yeah, so that's, that's uh, where we are now. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Let me go ahead and set the stage for... Well, actually, before we have them go upstairs... Well, actually, do y'all want to meet Val upstairs in the hall of your room, where the rooms are? Or do you want to meet him, like, in the lobby of the hotel first? Or it's up to y'all. I expect we probably know that... Uh... Who, who, uh, that Vol's character is going to to meet with us later in the day. There was probably like a I don't know a, a travel delay with a flight or something like that. The fact that they could get four of us uh, all together here is uh, a, a a real feat of engineering for a uh, dolphin hat on account of it being as expensive it is and we being a pretty small one. But yeah, I, I expect that if we meet. If we meet them anywhere, it would be, like, in the lobby, because I have all the keys, remember? Mm-hmm. As y'all wait, and as... Um, presumably, you receive a message of some kind from Vol, letting them know that you're, if not already there, then inbound. As you're waiting... Hello, library. Oh, but... We're reconfiguring our light... Hello, Vibers! We're reconfiguring our lineup process to make this VibeCon the best it can be. So while we cook, all accessibility lines are closed until further notice. Have a base day! What? You heard it right here, all folks. Accessi it, oh it, boy. It appears that all of the accessibility areas have been, uh, yes. Thankfully, you watch as the lone elevator uh, continues to make its way up and down. The other two or three, the other two appear to now have gone out of commission. The ones that were weren't, the ones that were working. So at least we got that going for well, you. Well, excellent. Yeah, <laughs> we got that going for us, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, hey, hey y'all. Uh, our fourth member is is somewhere down in the lobby. Before we head up, maybe we see if we can't meet up. I got a key here for him. Yeah. Drop. All right. Drop down into the the like front lobby area. Mm-hmm. Vol, as you are entering the building, in the little in that little area that's where you know how a lot of hotels they have these double, uh, door mm -hmm. things where you enter one door and then you have to enter another set of doors just to get in. Uh huh. I think I don't really yeah, know. Airlock. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I don't really know why why hotels are structured like that. I'm assuming as a security measure of some kind. When you enter the first doors, you actually notice kind of a minor kerfuffle inside the airlock area that other VTubers, uh, staff, and etc. seem to be doing their best to ignore for some reason. There is another, stream, a, uh, another streamer here, a girl, who is dressed kind of like a combination between a casual demon but also like kind of like uh, not as not like super demon but has clearly demonish uh demonish demonish i can't fucking demonic? talk De demonic, De De demonic <laughs> uh, art design and she looks very uncomfortable on account of this kind of taller man uh someone that appears to be wearing two hats for some reason um 
pressing her against the wall and seems to be constantly asking her questions that she does not want to answer. Um, at least that's what it sounds like. They sound like absolute garbage nonsense to you because they seem to... Because one of them, at least, is kind of sounds like... Uh, so, what's your sign, except in whatever Zoomer fucking slang they have today? And the rest are also just nonsense words, which might sound like flirting if it wasn't so cringe and the guy wasn't so awkward looking. Um, and meanwhile, the demon stream or the uh, demon VTuber has been looking for an out to get out for a while and she kind of glances your way uh, because uh, glances in your direction as well. Oh, I forgot to ask. Of all, are you coming in as yourself or as a custom streamer slash VTuber? As a, as a custom. Okay, so you're not a villain or legend in this case. Uh, what would you be? Or what would you look like? Actually, no. I am coming in as villain or legend. Okay. Excellent. So you see the other, the uh, demon streamer girl who is clearly uncomfortable with this uh, attention. And she's kind of looking over at you and she n notices that you have kind of similar-ish uh, aesthetic or character design. She's trying to be like, you, um, <clears throat> trying to get your attention because the other guy is too dense to realize that he does he is not wanted there. So I'm I am what actually going to mean. Excuse me. Is there a problem here? So immediately uh the taller man with the two hats on uh, immediately uh, like kind of stumbles a bit and says, oh, no, 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 there, there, there's nothing, nothing at all. Uh, I was just talking with my, uh, f with my, uh, fl with my friend here, uh, with my uh, friend here, Glacia, and then Glacia immediately says, we are not friends. <laughs> and he just starts like kind of laughing it off kind of awkwardly. It's like, um, See, she was kind of uh, lost around the hotel, and I was just uh, offering to possibly, uh, to, uh, I am not lost around the hotel. Yeah, so, uh, do you know, two, do you two know each other? He, the, uh, the double-hatted man says to, says to you. No, and you don't know her either. It seems. Yo. Yo. Yeah, um, yeah, we just met. Uh, just like how we, we just met, how we, I mean, you and I just met as well. He just kind of has a smile, and it's a fucking terrible fucking smile. It's so fake. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like more like a fucking beaver smile, like he's about to chomp on some wood or something. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> roll a d6 please go ahead and roll two or go ahead and roll uh two dice for this because uh for mask so boat bo go on uh i say the d set the base rules in this are d6 you get plus one for a mask or face or useful which means if your actor persona or your real life self is useful or if i think you're prepared and you literally just ran into this person so it would only be two dice, unless someone was down there to give you an additional dice, which they're not, so. Uh, in order to roll dice, in the place where I tagged you a little bit ago, you can go slash roll space 1d6 or 2d6, and it'll roll up for you. Oh. Roll for sins over here. Roll for badass. Mm-hmm. Badass. <laughs> I like it. All right. Let me check. Where did you say? Oh, uh, here uh, in yeah, in the uh, November fourth, twelve hundred C open seating murder mystery thing, thing jigger, thing jig, thing gimli what? Yeah, the the chat that I tagged you in a little bit ago. Uh, slash roll. 
Yeah, and then when you hit the space bar, it'll give you a little box. Roll. 2d6. 2d6. Like this. Really? <laughs> Edit <Erica>! ah! <laughs> uh, Did I do it right? Uh, uh it didn't come up. No, it didn't show up. Uh, type in roll. You should, there you go. Yeah, do oh. it like this. Let's see. Flash roll two weeks. Oh, here we go. It's right in this chat. Pog. Two D six. Oh. Uh, yeah, four there. We take yeah, highest okay. roll in this case, so it would be four. Four so, is a success with a complication. Yeah, there's a complication. Um, so you managed to successfully scare the fuck out of this dude, and he kind of uh, he kind of uh, gets off the wall and starts moving backwards from you. But as he approaches the window, he gets a little bit more bold, and he looks you up and down and is like, <laughs> What are you supposed to be? Some kind of generic anime villain? And, so, and immediately anime pussy just starts playing in the background. <sighs> I'll remember this. Don't- just you wait. You are- or just you wait. So, uh, this particular streamer has memorized your appearance and has given you a threat. Do you respond to that? Or has basically uh, threatened you? Do you respond to this or anything? <laughs> Jump up, kick him in the head with both feet. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Yo. So he fail. He uh, you pass an intimidation check, and he pretty much fucks off uh, deeper into the bouncer hotel. Meanwhile, the music continues to play and is abruptly stopped, followed by a very familiar jingle. Ah, oh boy. Attention, my gooby goobers! Please refrain from taking from taking over the hotel's PA system to play inappropriate music. It is very <laughs> embarrassing. We are all here. We are all here to be professionals. So to professional, be a professional. Uh, um. What do we call again? Just say streamers. <laughs> but they're not all streamers. Most of them are VTubers. Just say something. Uh, a professional. We are all professionals here. Please do not uh, hack the PA system to play uh, inappropriate, unapproved music. It is. It is uh, not part of our contract with Best Western. Please do not. Without further interruption, let's celebrate. <laughs> Okay, please, seriously, that's starting to get old. So, meanwhile, <laughs> while some of the hotel staff and presumably the VibeCon staff are dealing with whatever is messing, whoever it is that's currently messing with the um, audio system, Glacia, who, appear, who appears to be a kind of a short, uh, short uh, female demon VTuber, um... She is looks like she's been having certainly the day of all time, unfortunately. But she, <laughs> I mean, she uh, thanks you for helping her out there for a second, and then kind of casually says, or and then she casually mentions, and "Here was a, and here I was expecting to only deal with one stalker this weekend." Oh, jeez. Lulz, I'm going to throw my classroom over to you so that everyone mm -hmm. who is there will be in your channel. Okay. No problem. Thanks. Here we go. Yeah, we ah! Go. Ray. Hi, everyone. Welcome, Raiders. My name is Lolor Hicks. I'm a shitposter AI. I am... Uh... Uh, currently running a TTRPG with some VTuber friends, which actually takes place in a convention for VTubers. 
Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the raid, Cosmo. Let me do that. Yeah, raid. that's me. <laughs> Oh, you don't owe me anything. Thank you so much for uh, making it. I'm glad you could make it. I'm also glad that I decided to... Wait, no! Why did I Why did I push that? Wrong button. Uh-oh. <laughs> cancel, cancel, cancel. It should be shout-out. I don't know why I wrote shout raid instead of shout-out. Uh, Cosmo... That would have been awkward. There we go. Very. Did I cancel? Please tell me I canceled this thing. Yeah, you did. Okay, you did. Good. Don't it's, worry. It's still okay. popping. It's still showing up on mine for some reason. Uh, now you don't have to over bow open and overheat my poor, poor laptop. <laughs> my bad. So, um, best Western turns into worst, worst Eastern. I actually one of the worst conventions I've ever been to was actually at a best Western. So that's part of the reason why I thought of them first. Unfortunately, no offense to anyone who <laughs> works at best Western who may be viewing in. Um, this was purely for comedic purposes. Amazing. No problem, uh, Agaha. If at any time you feel better and want to rejoin and we're still streaming, feel free to pop in at any time. Otherwise, I hope you feel get better like as soon as possible. I'm sorry to hear that you're getting nauseous. Sister Agaha, by the way, has to dip out for a little while, everybody. Mm -hmm. So, um... Of course, JoJo will probably be busy taking care of her art inventory and that sort of business. We'll figure out what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, continue on. So, Glacia basically uh, thanks you for saving her in this case and casually mentions that she didn't expect to deal with more than one stalker at this weekend. Um, so how do you respond to that? I don't full, understand. full, dead, gone? No, there we go. Oh, here I am. <laughs> so, how am I going to respond? I mean, if you want to respond, I guess. I'll say... Don't mention it, I'm sorry to hear about it. Uh, your stalker situation if there's anything you need um, I'll be happy to step in she kind of uh, shrug she kind of shrugs in that sort of a uh, shy way but um otherwise she thanks you very much or for your help and she proceeds to head up the or she proceeds to enter the elevator or to go towards the elevator um, to get to her room. Presumably, you're going to also follow her to the elevator, and you also no will notice immediately that you are both on the same floor. Which is very convenient, I gotta say. <laughs> it's rather convenient. Mm -hmm. Since those two are heading in through the lobby, surely they will... I, I will be able to catch sight at least of my, my agency mate, Vol, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I'll I'll uh I'll be there looking around for a moment and I'll see and just Ah, there y'all are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vol, over here, over here. And I'll wave and I've got uh the, the electronic card in my hand, just like here's here's your key, mate. Mate, that's the wrong accent. Here's your key, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I like how of all the characters. Y'all doing okay? Oops, sorry, go on. Of all the characters, I am doing fantastic. And aside from having to deal with a ugly weirdo, I'm gonna I boost your volume a little bit. There we go. Oh, that ain't the greatest. I'm sorry to hear that. The two of you all right then? Yeah, it seems it seems like you two know each other now. That's cool. Get a little bit of networking going on. Maybe think about some collabs in the future. I'll definitely consider it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to head up. We got to... And then I'll pause for a moment and then decide better than saying that we are going to be hanging out with Heartful Hadley. Oh, we're we're oh, heading up on to the... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
because of obviously Agahar, obviously the Pine, um, doesn't that change the timeline of this? Uh, oh, well, I mean, uh, it, it's ah, probably uh, that Jojo is going to be like busy doing some stuff. Um, she'll probably have some reason to not be around. Well, she's but, okay. She's also vending, so. Well, in a way, you could argue that this makes narrative sense, since she would have to spend most of her time, like, unfortunately trapped at the in the artist alley. Um, that makes sense. Though it would be, uh, Mecca, to your point, it would be weird if we were just like, uh, hey there, Ada, we know that you intended to hang out with Jojo, but she's busy and we've come in her stead. Yeah. So maybe that maybe Ada hangs out with Jojo at the table and we are free. Oh, we could do it that way if you like. I was just gonna have her go to y'all's uh, room and like shoot the piss for a while. Yeah, well, we'd, we we'd, we're just trying her. to think of an alternative slate, alternative solution mm -hmm. to this. That would make diversion. sense, yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah, um, strictly speaking, like we have not met Heartful Hadley. It That's was very only true. Jojo that did, so for Hadley to show up to a, a hotel room and have it just be a bunch of randos, I, I should think awkward. that she would have the sense to, to, to leave. That's very true. It would be really awkward to play that way. So we could just assume that they uh, hung out somewhere. Um, yeah. And in that case, where would y'all, the rest of y'all be? We'll probably head up to the hotel room. At the very least, we have to... Like, we have to get Vol's bags up there and everything as well. Mm hmm So as y'all are heading so up to the... I suppose, wait our turn. Mm hmm And as y'all are heading up to the hotel room, uh, Mecca, I'm gonna have you roll a T6, please. Okay. Well, well. All right. A complicated success. As you are heading up to the room, there's someone heading. There's someone in a. There's someone in the hood. In a, who has been. There is someone who has been well covered in a hoodie, that appears to be playing with a vintage Walkman of some kind and putting it into their putting it into their ears. You see a slight brush of blonde hair, and. There's no really interaction with either of you, for the most part, as you pass them. Although, as Mecha passes them, they just hear something along the lines of... Or something along the lines of... You shouldn't be here. But they're... By the time you turn around, they've already made their way down the stairs. And you're now on the 13th floor. Yeah, that's not a, that's not ominous at all. Great. Glacia, meanwhile, uh, also says that this is basically her stop, and she apparently has one of the rooms right next to yours, actually. Oh well, well, excellent there, little lady. If uh, I mean, the two of you seem to be friends. If y'all wanna hang out with us for a little while, if you ain't if you ain't got nothing better to do. And we're just gonna sort of get on out of out of all this cosplay, and I will tap my like crappy plastic hat. And just be like, yeah, I gotta get out of this high quality biz if you care if you, if you catch my drift. Mm-hmm. Being that she is also a cosplayer and a VTuber, she totally gets what you mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll I'll uh, pop the key into the door, pop everything open. And I'll uh, I'll grab my suitcase and drag it into the bathroom so that I can change without preventing everyone else from getting inside. Mm -hmm. You see, Glacia kind of just look up, look, or kind of stare at her door, which is right next to yours, um, kind of furtively. It's kind of, and you see as she like is clearly thinking about something in her head or talking to herself and then you watch as she turns around walks further down the hallway 
and opens a different door instead and goes in the, and disappears inside there. Huh. Well, I'm in the bathroom, I don't see it. Mm-hmm. Mecha remembers this. <laughs> <laughs> Mecca will remember this. Uh, yeah, a, a minute later or so, I'll come back out of the bathroom and I've like wiped the the makeup beard off my face. I've taken the hat off and the, the wig is like tucked down into a bag and all that now. Um, when I come back out, I've got like a sort of like a black t-shirt with a like a silver chain with a silver cross on it and like just the blue jeans. Um, mm -hmm. I've got like light brown hair instead of the black of the of the wig. Everything else is relatively similar though, and I just kind of like shake my head a little bit, look over, see that it's just us in there, and go. Oh, thank God! I was not I was not ready to have someone who wasn't us hang out like right off the bat. That mm -hmm. accent is so hard to keep up. <laughs> It's good to see you, though, Vol. I'm, I'm glad that you were able to get here at least before the convention ended. God, American Airlines, am I right? <laughs> I'll tell you. Mosey so on down. what was that all about downstairs? You, uh, you had to deal with somebody down there, you said? Yeah, some guy in two hats given... Given Glacio over there some hard time stalking her, basically. Mm, two hats, huh? Getting Does that sound like Suscrates, lols? It sounds a lot like Suscrates, if only because who in the world wears two hats? Honestly. I just kind of wrinkle my nose up and go, Not these rappers? Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't disagree with that. I, I actually cannot disagree that that is certainly something oh, that they would do. That is certainly a thing of all time that they would do. Wonderful. Yeah, I just kind of wrinkle my nose up and I just go, yeah, con people are weird sometimes. I mean, it's weird to be here in the first place, but con people are weird anyway. And get this. All right, well. He wasn't yeah. the first -er. Apparently there's another. After glass. Two stalkers, huh? Yep. Lucky her, I guess. <laughs> or unlucky, worst... in most cases. Yeah. Mecha begins to take off her cyberpunk helmet and the ski mask off. Um, obviously, that reveals her, obviously, the short hair that, kind of, that she has and the glasses that she commonly wears and, like, Sometimes this mask it can be a great thing, but also a bloody hindrance. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, no, you've got like a you got like a big red line across your forehead from where the ski mask was sitting. You might go wash your face. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's look at the itinerary then. What is the what has the agency got us doing here? Like we are here as guests, so assume I assume we've got like a panel or something tomorrow. Mm hmm. There are quite a few panels here, although who wrote made up these panels to begin with and why they sign up the rest of y'all for them is kind of sus in itself. Um, it's not blame. For example, uh, and you can't help but feel like a certain someone that you ran into, Mecca, might have had something to do with this because one of the first panels that you've been signed up for is apparently uh, women in streaming and most of your panel mates are all men. Oh. In fact, you're fairly sure that you're the only female streamer in this panel. Oh, so, lovely. Yeah. There's some other section, there's another panel here that is also kind of sus, but is considered probably less sus than the rest. Apparently, VTuber Clippers have been gaining clout in a obnoxious way in the past. And ever since that one guy kind of openly revealed himself, even though he wasn't actually the VTuber Clipper in question, um, there has been some effort by conventions to try and elevate actual VTuber Clippers, um, you know, so they can't get... So they can't get impersonated 
obviously, and that's totally something that we need, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Villain of Legend, I think they are trying to place you in a panel where you would have uh, some modicum of experience, given that your entire shtick is being a villain, a legendary villain. Unfortunately, mm. the only one they are able to stick you into and I don't think they realize the irony of this is uh, best slaves in Isekai. Oh my god. <laughs> best what in Isekai? Best slaves in Isekai. Slaves. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse. You could have been. They were trying to get all four of you to join the Crypto is Back in Pog form panel, but. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that one was a hard no from all of us. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Jeez. There's also a variety... Right, well... Go on. I was just going to say, there's also a variety of expo things going on in the expo hall tomorrow as well, but those will be tomorrow or the next day. In the meanwhile, we can Excellent. pretty much just... Um, unless y'all would like to further explore the building before it's closed before it's closing hours so we can just move on to the first day of the the uh, next day of the convention that sounds good to me yeah i mean sounds day one of the convention has got like a bunch of stuff right off the bat and then like everything that's important is like the parties and things mm -hmm. day two is when you actually are there for the con yeah exactly and tell you what, Bones, whose real name is actually Jackson, uh, is super not down for parties. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, y'all decide to... Y'all decide to turn in for the night. On the outside Cosmos of this panel is how to keep your hats as pointy as possible. Perhaps. <laughs> as you try to come in, get in for a night, there's a the wall the walls of the hotel room are not exactly the best. The vast majority of it is excessively loud music, um, thumps of a certain of a certain kind. And also, <laughs> just the general going on that would typically be in a hotel. Although, especially the people next door, the ones in what were using what were glasses room, seem especially rowdy this evening. You hear the you hear the doors next to you open and shut very loudly, as if they're being slammed open. Um, there's a little bit of a kerfuffle along with the sound the smashing of broken glass uh, and the sound of very heavy things falling onto the floor. I guess the... Hmm. Along with a vibe gone jingle that comes afterwards. Hello, streamers! Before you get your rocks off of the alcoholic kind, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, make sure well, this is a night reminder to you that VibeCon does not endorse underage drinking of any, underage drinking of any, or anything else of any kind, and make sure that you uh, maintain. You hear this fluttering of papers. Uh, safe drinking habits have a designated. Des, des, des design driver. Um, <laughs> it is not le it is not legal to light up in the states of Idaho, or is it? Can you some can we have someone check on that? <laughs> uh, no reason. We just, we just need someone to check on it. And I actually have a phone call in real life. One second.
<laughs> it's just um did i miss something a, sorry uh, uh, yes, we're you just did. bantering okay <laughs> Um, I also forgot to mute OBS, so that was kind of awkward, but I'll just have to edit that out in post. Um, but we didn't hear you. Okay, good. So, VibeCon are... Basically, it's just... Um, I kind of lost my train of thought now, thanks, phone call. But uh, basically, it's just a throwaway, vi throwaway uh, VibeCon announcement about the dangers of drinking and driving, um, practicing safe sexual intercourse, and remembering to shower. You know, typical convention type stuff. Meanwhile, the uh, ruckus and the partying, very, very rad party, partying from the sounds of it, continues outside of your door. Before everything turns silent. There was all that bro breaking glass and like heavy thuds and stuff as well earlier. Maybe I'll pop the door open just a little bit and look over in that direction to see if the hallway is filled with broken glass or something. Uh, open. Mm, let's just have you open the door. Yeah, I'll pop it open. Take a look. You pop open the door. The lights above you are flickering. And as you open the door, you feel the door start to slide up and crunch against things on the ground. There's definitely glass on. There is definitely glass on the ground, but you also feel as the door thuds and gets stuck along something that seems to be blocking it. Hmm. That's unusual. I'll push a little bit harder on it, maybe, see if it's just like one of the, the like succulents from the hallway that's been pushed down or something. You push harder, and the thing refuses to budge, but after you give it a little bit more of a go, you see a finger... Uh, pop out from underneath the door, now thoroughly mangled in part thanks to you moving, running the door over it. A little bit of blood follows the finger, and starting to spread out over uh, the floor, and soaking ooh, into and I jump the... Back, like, a, a full, like, four feet jump back, and I make the sign of the cross on myself, and I go, Jesus! Uh, Mecca wakes up going, what, 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 what? What? <laughs> and I, I, I just kind of like point at the at the floor where the finger and the blood is under the door, and just kind of, this is cosplay stuff, right? This is this isn't real. This is cosplay stuff. No, there's a certain time where it is and it isn't. Now is not one of those times. Call the fucking police now. I look over at uh at Vol, and I just kind of like, I. Uh, yeah. B b phone, phone, Vol, Vol, can you? Uh... And I, I back up against the wall and kind of slump down a little bit on it. I reach for my phone. <laughs> and I dial my. <laughs> All right, Vol, you you <laughs> dial nine one one. You immediately get a dispatcher. Uh, 911 emergency, how can I help you? Or what's your... 911, what's your emergency? How can I help you? Sorry, I... How? What's your emergency? No, that's the best. That's We're the... at a con now, and... We heard... We heard glass breaking, we heard a struggle, and we see blood and a finger on the floor. You hear a very deep sigh on the other end. And we think there might have been <laughs> murder or an assault. Really, murder and assault, huh? Hmm. You hear some flipping on the table, and you are flipping on the other side of the phone, and you hear the phone being set down, um, up, sitting upwards, along with a very a mutter, along with a muttered, "Hold on, please." In the background, you could hear people talking, and you start hearing some laughter along with um, some people also loudly talking about things that are decidedly not murder and or emergency. After a good five to ten minutes of this, eventually someone picks up the phone again and says, uh, Which convention and which hotel? Vibe. We're at Vibe, Vibecon, Vibecon, uh, at the the Marriott. 
Yes, Vicon at the Marriott. Vicon at the Marriott. All right, um, <clears throat> can I get your information, please? Blah, blah, blah. So I give him my information. All right. And without for, with literally no other information or liter or even a thank you, they just straight up hang up. Bitch hung up on you. <laughs> wow. I just kind of like, I, I, I'm still I sitting there like... Also. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there dumbfounded. I think they're sending someone. <laughs> I'm hopeful. Is there any more sound so? coming from out in the? Because our door is technically now propped open with a finger wedged under it. Is there more sound coming from out in the hallway? Uh, not right now. You do. I mean, other than the sound, you most of the sound you hear outside your doorway is actually coming from further down from other people partying. Your floor is surprisingly quiet, all things concerned. Which is interesting, since this is supposed to be the floor where all the guests and agency VTubers, etc. are supposed to be. Uh, um, okay, can... okay, then I use my phone to basically um, extend my arm out to then basically use the camera, both the front and the back, by switching to see what's going on down the hallway. And what the body on the other side of our door looks like. <laughs> exactly. See? Smarter, not harder. <laughs> All right. So you use your phone camera to look around the corner to see what it is that you're working with. Um, the first thing you notice is someone's bare naked ass, uh, which is... Lovely. Scott, which is Skyward, along with a large pool of blood, um, his hand that's been partially mangled underneath the door frame, while the other hand seems to be clutched around a camera, a old-fashioned camcorder of some kind. Um, the guy seems, half the guy's body seems to be actually inside of the room, uh, the room that Glacia was originally looking at, uh, staying in. And beneath him are the remains of a broken of a uh, broken glass coffee table that he seems to be also partly in. At the same time, oh. though, uh, his head and neck are just covered in gore, like, utterly. Which you even see, and, you, and it doesn't really take some, an investigator to look down from this position and see that um, it appears to the cuts and scrapes, the cuts and most of the injuries, aside from the glass, seem to be on his back and neck. Incidentally, there's also appears to be a folded pair of pants there, right next to the door. Okay, for starters, one, no one touch anything, otherwise we leave a trace. <laughs> yeah. And by the looks of it, this happened only, I would say, one to two hours ago, judging by the lacerations on the back and neck. Uh, you, 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 you mean that the, 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 this has been outside of our hotel door for an... Oh, God. And I sit down and I breathe, fumble in my suitcase breathe. and pull out an uh, an inhaler. <laughs> I take a, I take two hits off of the inhaler and then just uh, okay. Um, we we got to get out of here then, right? We we gotta. If we, we gotta get out, if we get out here. of here, we would we will move the body, and that would be the main problem. Since it's outside of our door, we would technically be qualified as prime suspects. 
I shoot my eyes over to the wall that we shared with the room that Glacia was supposed to be in. Is this one of the kind of hotels that has the door that is locked but could open into both of those rooms? We'll go ahead and say yes. Look over at that door and I just kind of look over at the other two and go, Do, do, do you think maybe we could go... Th through the, through there then or, or something because I, I don't know about you guys but I really don't feel like it's a great thing to be sitting around when there's a dead body at least knock first I will look over at Vol just m m maybe you knock maybe I'll knock. And after a moment, <clears throat> nothing then, probably, right? No, no response? Let me see mm. here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no response. Sorry, it took me a minute. No, you're good. Just... Oh, oh, well, if there's nobody there, then maybe we can just kind of uh, pop right in and uh, get out of here. Um, because if... if uh, and I'll pick up the, the hotel phone and see if I can dial down to the, the front desk. You dial down into the front desk, and a weary but still cheerful sounding uh, hotel receptionist answers, Yes? Uh, there's, um, the 14th floor, um, blood and f fingers? Um, help? Help, please? Blood and fingers? I'm sorry, did someone injure, did someone hurt themselves? Uh, and then I, I think the kind phone of very the phone out to Mecca. Yeah. yeah I, I was just like to say, like, um, hello there. We've just basically, just, we've already fired a police report. Apparently, there has been an incident on the 14th floor. Uh, there is actually a body that is not in very good shape, and we respect, we probably suspect to have it. It has apparently been a first degree murder in this building. Uh, we don't know who done it though. It's currently the, like, this glass all over the first floor. We cannot basically leave our room without compromising the body. Uh, would it be okay if we use the the door that goes that uh, is connected to the other room to basically for us to leave without any disturbances, please? Um, you. <laughs> that, was, that was the most probably most professional view ever here. <laughs> probably, and unfortunately, the uh, receptionist is still trying to. The receptionist is still trying to get in her head, like process what you're saying because. You went from bloody finger to first degree murder to can we get out, use the room that the body is in to get out of the, our room at the same time. As she's trying to, as she starts asking you some rhetorical questions to try and get a better idea of what it is you're trying to say, uh, in between someone talking in her ear, asking her if the elevator had been broken down again, you suddenly hear her stop and say, Oh, uh, hi, officer. How may we help you? And then you hear some off some off screen chatter, off screen chatter, presumably between her and a, and the officer, followed by a. Uh yes, they we I'm just on the call with some witnesses now. They said it's on the 14th floor. So immediately the receptionist says, "Um, actually, we would like you to uh, stay put. Uh, we have some police here now. They are he they are heading up. They are heading upstairs to the 14th floor, to uh, heading upstairs to the 14th floor to uh, invest to uh, take over to investigate what exactly is going on here with a with a body and a murder. Um, I will apologize for the inconvenience, but the instant but uh, inconvenience. Thank you very much. We will, uh, we will make sure to stay put as much as we can to keep calm. Looks at <laughs> bones. On top of that, as Third you're about hit of the inhaler. 
On top of that, as you're about to hang up, you hear someone in the background say, Yeah, it looks like the last elevator, elevator broke again. And you just are followed by, What do you mean again? And then it just hangs up. <laughs> Click. It's going to take the police some time to go up, go up 14 stories. So you have some time now. Uh, panic for a minute at least. <laughs> okay. You spend a minute panicking. How loud is your panic? It's not. It's very quiet. It's a whole lot of uh, repeating the Lord's Prayer and like holding the cross necklace really hard. Mm hmm. Okay, then I can successfully do this. Mecha grabs a hold of Bones just for a moment with a slight smile, then slaps him across the face. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll to see if I can break out of the panic? Uh, Sin says, someone get Cosmo some tea and a blankie stat. Mecha knows what's up. <laughs> Feels a necromancer. <laughs> Alright then. Um, also, as this is going on, you do hear a cre the creak of a door opening on the other side of the hallway. I'm going to roll a d6 really quick. Oh, lovely. Followed by an ear, followed by an ear, an ear, a uh, ear piercing ear scream piercing. of terror. Uh, Great. From the other side. The scream, the scream is loud enough that the people on a couple floors down are able to hear it. So within minutes, you start hearing a, kerf a kerfuffle as other people presumably start uh, heading to the direction of the uh, direction of the commotion. The scream. Yeah. Minutes later, you start seeing or you start hearing what's an obvious crowd of people upstairs all figuring out what are seeing the disaster that's befallen and doing all sorts of things that people do when this kind of thing type of occurs. Like for example, taking pictures and video of the body and of the uh, naked body and the blood and posting it on social media. Oh man, Logan Paul is here. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite Logan Paul, but you do notice that if you were to look at TikTok and Twitch right now, you would happen to notice some very very familiar, sadly familiar faces uh, who are eating the shit up. This is the best content they've had access to in months. Hogan they're ready, lol, perhaps. They're already calling it Murder at VibeCon. Ah, oh, excellent. Oh, we got a title drop! Oh, baby! <laughs> Eventually, after several minutes... As this goes on, there's and this goes on for several, several, several minutes. There's some people who are brave enough to get closer to the crime, closer to the crime scene, because the average person doesn't know how to actually deal with crime scenes, right? And it doesn't oh, take I'm long. Oh, I have a degree in it. <laughs> exactly right. And let me see who it is that actually is brave enough to. The rolling is broken. One second. Lily Pichu shows up. Or, sorry, Pilly Lichu. It's a four, so... Um, not the worst, but probably not the... Not a particularly good one, either. Um, you see this guy come up. He's kind of an exaggerated personality. Unfortunately, you do all recognize who this person is because the nature of the kind of content he does makes it so that he has to be obnoxious and annoying. So even if you don't watch his uh, pro watch his videos on YouTube, you probably know who this is. Um, it's uh, the guy who is infamous for running the Wungus TV channel. Um, he's like... And He's infamous because his whole shindig basically revolves around doing pranks. And uh, when he starts ah, fucking around guys. with the finger, with the thoroughly mangled fingers, and he starts up uh, like stepping on and touching the uh, dead corpse's naked ass, he 
looks into he looks he you see him like standing outside your fucking room and it's like he has absolutely zero like zero consideration whatsoever zero self-awareness whatsoever and he's just like fucking around with the corpse and then he looks at you he's like dude this is like the prank prank of to end all pranks bro do you want to collab oh christ and he's like asking this like to all three of you with just like the most the most straightest face okay mecca walks up right to the door leans her face in going like one no two touch that body again you will be complicit to the murder since everything leaves a fucking trace. Free? No! <laughs> Yo, dog, don't like, don't be such a, don't be such a downer. I mean, I, I, I get. Mac. Mac. <laughs> I say, stop touching the fucking body. <laughs> There's a fucking body? You hear someone with a high pitch and maybe all too excited voice say as they also run up. Um, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Joe or Jones McBones, you recognize this person as Jamima Queensbottom Smith, that, uh, oh, uh no. that TikToker who has her camera out, unfortunately, and she still has it facing at her, so she's probably on TikTok right now, uh, streaming yeah. this. And she stops just, oh, just short, so she stops like just short oh. of the body. And looks it up and down, and given that she actually is a professional, unfortunately she does not think that this is a prank, much less a very fun one. You see her actually clean up her face and like straighten up her hair, and she stands up in front of the goddamn body, and the door, and the four, and the four of you, including the prank, including Mr. Prankster. And he, she starts, honest to God. Um, acting as if she's doing a news a anchor. News broadcast. Doing, doing a news broadcast. I'm here live at the scene of VibeCon 2023, where it appears that there is a murder afoot. She then fucking actually tries to spin the ca phone uh, camera uh, so that it's showing the body, given it's supposed to be in <laughs> selfie mode. So um, all she ends up getting is like a view of the dude's ass. <laughs> So she keeps okay. doing, and it and it just becomes a fucking okay. mess. Um, okay. As this continues for uh, some bit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, the, like I can mix. You know what? Screw it. We ball. Um. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm trying. Like, hang. give me a minute. I have something in my head. I just need to formalize it. <laughs> Uh, give me a minute. Uh... Take your time. We got plenty. A murder afoot. New no, lady, it was the hand that was mangled. Jeez, if you're going to report, do it right. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have something ten times worse. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Uh, now... Oh, there we go. Listen here fake false ID and salty fuck off with the body it, the cops are coming fuck off yeah, and that, that seems to track it's about the time that suddenly you hear a familiar jingle oh no Slay Vibers, we heard some noise complaints about a party that's been going on. Big yikes. Your streamer by streamer buys need to sleep too. You hear some, you hear a commotion at the stairwell which is full of people who are taking photos and video video and video to and video recording the scene, including all fucking six of you at this no is it five? Uh, five all five of you plus a corpse um when you hear the sounds of another familiar voice it's the voice it's quite obviously that of the chief of security uh security lead greg payton trying to make his way upstairs to get to the bottom of what the hell is going on upstairs and that tracks talking animatedly with yeah. the police 
So right now, to basically illustrate the scene, um, you got pranks. You got uh, Mr. Freaking Des Wongus VT Des Thorson, the prank, the big prankster dude here, who still has not taken a hint that this is a real crime scene. Um, Jamima Queensbaum Smith is trying to get a, her first big scoop in years to reclaim her reclaim her former identity as a professional journalist, and you still have a body here that's clutching onto a camcorder, covered in blood and glass shards, with a mangled finger, and a torn up neck and head. So, what to do in this case? Five Panic people in the corpse. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, um, hmm. Mecca's just like pinching her brow going for fuck's sake, can this get any worse? <laughs> <laughs> Roll d6. Roll a d6 to see how much worse it can get. Yes, actually. The answer is lots. <laughs> Natural one. Kill me. You just, Not literally. <laughs> you just hear Greg Payton, our security lead Peyton, yell down the hall, What in the actual fuck is this? He stomps down over to the stomps down over to the uh corpse and the fa and the uh fa and the, uh, five of you. Surrounded or followed very quickly by some security officers and action the actual police and he is just fucking glaring daggles at all of you. And be like, What is this? Immediately, the prankster and the journalists point at the three of you. The journalist in just particular like hides her phone. <laughs> yeah, it's just a couple more seconds and then very slowly put the inhaler back up to my mouth one more time. <laughs> Well, maybe if you checked no. the security cameras, you dingus, you would know apparently this body has been in front of our door for one to two hours, and yet you didn't do jack shit. So you mean to tell us that you've known that this body was here for one to two hours, and you only called police after the fact? I'm a- I have a degree in forensic science! Yeah, sure you do, Miss Cyber Demon this. VTuber. Uh, uh, you're gonna be you. All three of you are coming with us now. So the room uh, while compromising the body. Sec security lead Peyton and the uh, officers attempt to detain you, and unfortunately, they have brought the uh, zip ties this time. Uh, yeah. Um. What do you guys attempt to do? This is this is a this is a pretty bad situation right here um the security lead is not a cop is he he's like a security guard yeah he's a security well basically the security lead um neither the security lead or the security guards are cops the um are are, are cops and any thank you for the hydrate redeem i needed that they're not cops at all um but they're but they're going to throw their try to throw their weight around anyway basically Okay, okay. I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna put the inhaler in my pocket. I'm gonna pick up my, like, normal jacket, slip it on over my shoulders, and then I'm gonna say to uh, my, my two colleagues, I'm gonna say, this all feels a little fishy. And if you ask me, I don't think this is what we should be doing right now. I think. No shit. No shit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the security guard getting out his zip ties, and then look past him into the hallway. And then I, th I say, I think maybe we have a better place to be right now, somewhere that's not here. Three, two. And I'm looking at them with with my eyes like wide open, glancing over at the the space between the door and the security guard. <laughs> I love it. 
this has already gone off rails of what the actual the uh, plot written to the uh, TTRPG were entailing, so I love it. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Dramatic jump through the window, sin, or sin, that's going to kill them. This is the 14th floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, like, Jackson is just a guy. Yeah, they don't have Dimension Door, unfortunately. Loaded a uh, spell slot. <laughs> Yeah, my cantrip right now is called Panic, and it only works on myself. How does the rest of you I'm... act, by the way? Uh, Bones is suggesting that we run. What do you two think? Hmm. Knock out the, the security guard, damn run! <laughs> I mean, I'm down. Mm. No. Alright, so, so Bones is just there like three, two, one, and I'm gonna j like lean backwards and push backwards because like i have my back to the the rent a cop right now mm -hmm. i'm gonna just like push backwards full force crash into him and hope that he stumbles over the body so that the doorway is open enough for us to slip through <laughs> you do realize i'm in front of the door right <laughs> that is true oh dear you actually yeah, have an what... easier way out than than at least Bones does. Don't forget to all yeah, three of you have yeah. bites as well. Or two of you have bites. Uh, Vol does not, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm well, thinking actually, about it. Uh, Vol actually has a bite that he got from saving Glacia from earlier. That works out well. Right. Uh, you can spend a bite to uh, get an extra die, shrug off an injury, and then if you have more bites, you can do more stuff. Got it. Think of them like inspiration in 5e. Mm-hmm. Also, mm -hmm. keep in mind that you only get to use these once per game if you decide to give yourself more another die roll, but it is an option. I was literally it. about to roll a dice on how successful my punch to his face is going to be. <laughs> I like it. I love it. <laughs> you punch him, that'll knock him like off of his off of his balance i'll push him over the body and then we all book it right so yeah like but then i will need to also n knock out the prankster and the journalist also <laughs> why I'll do you want to... i don't know if those two are gonna stop us why are you gonna knock <laughs> no witnesses I don't like that prankster. <laughs> yeah, he does that's seem kind of like a jerk, huh? Vultures. On the other hand, he's the one that's covered in blood from jumping all over the body. <laughs> if we get past, we'll be fine. Exactly, that's why I say no witnesses, no trace. The words body serving come to mind, apparently. All hotel runes are shatterproof. <laughs> they would bounce off after looking like idiots. <laughs> If you're hearing anything, what? those would be. <laughs> I'm just, I'm reading the chat. All right. Well, I guess we're I, I, I guess we're throwing. Oh, there's like a bunch of people in the hallway, though, right? Like you said, the yeah. crowd has started to gather. There's a crowd there. So. Uh, I will instead of body checking the 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 rent a cop, I will grab the the door handle to the the room next door, and pull on it to see if we can get it open. Uh, we're going to say it does Actually, open. The problem is, you already, that's the door to, the door where the body is, is the problem. Where the body is coming out of that door as well, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Mm. Huh. Mecha would well, need to right punch then. quite um, a few people. <laughs> I would! <laughs> Mega just comes out with and the arm, like, rolling the shoulder out, like, all right, it's time for punching. And Sin just well, pointed out... Because people, no, because people have their phones out, so technically all they have to do is basically just grab their wrist, twist it, and then send the phone flying. 
Sin also makes That's an unfortunate true. point that a bunch of people are streaming right now. Uh, so this is very visible. Well, unless I put my mask on, just so then no one can actually see my face. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's true. I, 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 I like. I see you look at your mask, and I just kind of like reach over and pick up my crappy cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just made this harder. They said. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I, I know you're picking up your nose of sin, but so am I. I'm like. Okay, how do I get out of this? <laughs> Stay chill, Vibers. Just a reminder, everything is fine. Thank you. <laughs> That's a Just fucking mood. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, 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 <laughs> you I can also potentially um, call in a lifeline if you have made any contacts over the course of this. True, but I don't know how many of them will be able to get us out of this specific situation. Um, tell you what I will do. I will, uh... Well, we're, the, the guy is still waiting for us to, like, comply with his order, huh? Mm-hmm. I will... Alright, uh, I'll, I'll shake my head a few times and then kind of, like, tap my face and then stand up real straight and go, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm gonna have to call my manager. And I'll pick up my phone, put on my cowboy hat, and call the, the agency manager. Alright, so you call the manager. They pick up almost immediately and start with the pleasantries asking how things are going. Um... Boss, things ain't going well on this convention right now. Seems like a lot of stuff's happening. We really need to get ourselves out of here. Uh, the 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 guest services ain't ain't treating us the right way, uh, and we got some sort of like a uh, rain a cop kind of kid who's uh, trying to tell us that we got to go down with him because we're causing problems or whatnot. But you can look over on Dick Dog or on uh, Justin TV or any of those places and see exactly what's happening on our hallway right now. Why don't you just, uh, why don't you just call us a cab and uh, we'll, we'll head on over to a different hotel or something for the night? Uh, so they're like... Really? And facilities aren't supposed to sh start until the very next day? Oh my fucking god, that is a naked ass, and that's a lot of blood. Yeah, it, I, I'm glad that you understand the situation now there, boss. Can you get us out of here? I'll they see... Up. I'll see what I... <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Make sure you don't talk to anyone. This has become a, le this is going, this has become a legal nightmare. Rest assured, I ain't going to talk to nobody. And as I hang the telephone up, I'm looking directly at the, the security guard. And I just go, Now, mister, you ain't a cop. We already done called the cops. They going to come up here, and they going to see this sort of kerfluffle that be, that, that's, that's sitting in this hallway here. I don't know about you, but I ain't going to be squealing like a stuck pig when they come up and find this guy, and I point at the prankster. This guy, with his feet covered in blood, because he'd been jumping on this thing like a gosh dang trampoline. You want to pick somebody up, you pick up this guy. And as of so, as so saying, the police, meanwhile, who do not look like they want to be here either and have zero interest with any of the arguing, zero interest with any of the arguing between the uh, security lead and a bunch of YouTubers, also look like they're kind of eager to just drag the body away and uh, call it a night. So the police did finally arrive? Oh, they've been there, like, the whole time. Oh, excellent. Well, if uh, that's the case, then they they will be able to tell this security guard that uh, he needs to uh, find a different place to hop, skip, and jump off, because we're not related to this. Mm-hmm. Well, also, I was going to say that they're not going to do much about or do much about the situa situation anyway because as far as they're concerned they don't think this is a murder or they don't want to have to deal with the paperwork that would involve a murder investigation 
So they're just going to American assume for you. that a dumb convention goer got somehow got themselves killed and just eat the basically eat the body away. A secure when you after incidentally after you call your manager, a uh, security lead Peyton, whose main interest is getting rid of this uh, getting rid of this stuff uh, as soon as possible, is going to roll his eyes. He's going to take his glasses off of his face, um, squeeze his the bridge of his nose, and then say and, and then turn to each of you and say, "I don't want." to have hear a word of this outside of the hotel, all right? We don't need the vibe of this con to be upset, right? We understand that, but, like, but I think that's a bit too little too late. Looks at everyone yeah. else shaming it. Right. Mm. I pull out my own phone, tap the dick doc icon, and the first thing that comes up is VibeCon livestream dead guy in hallway. I just go, sorry, but uh, you're rolling snake eyes on this one. Or so you say, and then he spies over, and then he spies Mr. Uh, D Des Lungus TV Thorson, who has finally taken the hint and is attempting to sneak away but not quick not quite fast enough as the security chief as the security chief grabs him by the collar brings him in close and says this is one of your pranks right wingus this is just a body quote unquote that you brought over here to kick off vibe con right Wingus, meanwhile, um, is f completely fucking pale-faced, and he's just uh, and he just starts nodding his head and going along with the whole thing. Good, because you know, if this wasn't one of your many unfunny pranks, getting banned from a convention would be the least of your worries, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm from the whole entire fucking hotel, chow chow chow, more like. Right. Oh my. So basically, security lead nods his head. It's as if there was like an unspoken NDA or unspoken agreement between all of you right there that this never happened. And even if it did happen, it was just a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I sort of tip my cowboy hat forward a little bit, and uh, as I pull it down, like, I, I manage to wipe my eye really quick, and you can see that there's, like, so much, like, stress tears built up in my eyes real fast there, and I just kind of wipe them off for a second, and I go, right, well then, uh, if y'all are done sort of messing with my evening, I got some things I need to get to. If y'all wouldn't mind just uh, clearing your prank out from the hallway, then. I look down at the body, turn back, nearly throw up, do the sign of the cross, and then go back to it. I just shoot the guy, glare of disapproval. And. As this is all going up, as you basically start to leave the area awkwardly, while the police start carting are carting away the uh, body and pockets, the camcorder and anything else that might have been on this person, you know, for uh, police investigation, totally. Of course. Um, Jamima is, seems to be the only one here who is not taking the hints that this is all going to be hush hush. She looks like she's about. She looks like she's about to say shit when suddenly the security chief looks at her, says one word. Vaccine or vaccines cause homosexuality and autism. Apparently, isn't that right, Jamima? To which Jamima's uh, to which Jamima is about to retort, and then puts puts her phone away, or then disconnects off of TikTok and puts her phone away. Good, I was about to pull my conditional finality, I'm like, not a word. 
basically the implication being that he doesn't think that even if Jamima were to go to talk about this, that anyone would believe her. Because her reputation yeah, as a journalist sense. got hard killed a while back. <laughs> so the rest of you make your way down make your way down the stair down, down the stair or make your way towards the crowd of people who are still have their phones out, asking a thousand questions a minute. You see glasses that's actually still kind of peeking out at the chaos from within her apartment, or within her hotel room. She spies a look at the rest of you and kind of gives kind of this glance like, what, was, what just happened? And you can you either... You don't want to know. <laughs> and so she, when she receives that answer, she closes the door behind, uh, closes the door behind her as well. And you make mm. your the long trip all the way down south. Yeah. Um. As soon as we are out of the the like throng of people and are over like by the the staircases going down and all of that, um, I think I'm going to begin to have another panic attack. Remember that I am in character right now. Remember that Bones isn't scared of anything, and then force myself to continue down the stairs. Maka just gives her another another slap. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, yeah, thanks. We we gotta tell Jojo that we ain't staying here. That w we gotta tell her what's going on. Uh, so someone wanna someone wanna do that? Uh, my my hands are shaking too much to do any texting. Uh, and I think the 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 end goal for Bones right now is to get out of the hotel, such that whatever's happening there stays in there, and he's not in it. <laughs> Just trudging very slowly down the stairs. Mm -hmm. You eventually make it to the lobby where there's still a commotion of people, many of whom are drunk or high or both. And the rumors are pretty much going flying like wildfire through the streamer and VTuber community that yet another person, that, he not, that a body was discovered upstairs. Unfortunately, you also can't help but notice that the rumors going around don't match what see don't really match what you've seen and what you've long suspected. In fact, some of them are even already talking about are even not talking so much about the bo dead body and the unfortunate victim, but are talking about how why is it no one has canceled or banned Wonga's TV off of t off of Justin TV yet, or why is he even still allowed to make content? Some people and are questioning if go on. Uh, some people are questioning if there was even a murder upstairs to begin with, or if there even was a dead body. And others still are talk. And then someone finally brings up that last year a Lelouch co of Britannia cosplayer got <laughs> a little too into his role and may have accident may have attempted to do a mass poisoning and uh. The poisoning failed, but a lot of people had diarrhea that day. But he, needless to say, he could not show his face again because unfortunately he filmed his epic speech, which was word to word, as if he was trying to code gay ass the, the entirety of YouTube. <laughs> so, needless oh boy, to say, oh violence be damned. It looks like the streamers are ready forgetting what happened upstairs for now you know what maybe that's that's a maybe that's all for the best uh because bones sure wants to forget about it right now <laughs> like we're down in the lobby bones will step outside and then like just take a, a breath of the cool air outside and then just kind of go you know, I think it's time for me to graduate. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I check my phone to see if uh, we've gotten any like text messages or anything back from the from the manager to see if we're getting out of here or not. You do get a text message from the manager. <laughs> text message from the manager reads thus: "Hey, period. I am here, period. Come to the." Booth of. And then there's a space. JoJo's booth. Finally, after like a, se a second, there is a another response that says, Joe Joyous booth. Mm, okay. Interesting. All right. Now, well, I uh, should let you. Just, that... Go on. Oh, and. I think it's kind of assumed, but this is pretty getting pretty late in the evening. So by this point, the artist alley is, if, if not already cleaned up, is in the process of cleaning up. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, well, we can probably get up there and like if because because we could see JoJo's booth from the door, so we could probably like if the door is still open, even if there's a security guard, we'll just yell past them and. Jojo and the manager should be there, and they'll be able to come up and be like, no, they're with us. Mm-hmm. So... So, when we get to the door, can we see them? You head over... When you get to the door, you notice that Jojo is actually not at the booth, and neither is Ada. Interesting. Is the manager there? You look around, and your manager is not there either. Interesting. Is there a security guard by the door? There is no security guard at the door. Maybe they just stepped away for a sec. Well, let's go. Let's go take a check. We'll we'll go and we'll go and wait there for a second, maybe. Mm-hmm. You head over to the to JoJo's booth. It looks like it's already actually been already cleaned up, and she's. Um, Still has put away everything for the evening. But there's nobody there. There's no one there, although, interestingly enough, um, Ada's... Ah! Thank you very much for the follow, you second and five. Welcome to the stream. This is the Lost Time Show. Uh, we're actually playing a TTRPG at the moment, where we're kind of cleaning up to... Ah... Greetings. Fucking bots. Ah, wonderful. Cough. How about we ban you? Ban. Did it work? I can't open stream. It did. This is yeah, stupid. Message deleted. Okay. Ban man. Some things don't change. I see. <laughs> All right. So you head over to the booth, and so JoJo's booth has been cleaned up properly. However, Addis Booth appears to be devoid of just about everything. It's almost empty, except for a piece of paper that says reserved for uh, Vscape. Huh. Interesting. Well, uh, what with everything that we have just gone through right now, I feel like being in a relatively empty hall where it's quiet and there isn't a ton of people swarming around is probably going to be good for recovering a bit of mental health. Mm hmm Hang on. Bones, give me your phone. I, I, yeah, yeah, he, here you go. And I, I hand the phone over. I look at the text from the manager. This is not how a human normally writes. Well, I mean, you know our manager. He's kind of, kind of, a, kind of a boomer, but like... I mean, you can't really... No. Uh, too many periods. Just then, the phone then rings. A... Uh, what's the caller ID? The caller ID appears to show your manager. I jump. Uh, I'm still way scared out of my wits. Uh, and I just motion to Mecca to pick it up. Well, I already have your phone, so... <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, uh, answer, answer it. 
I answer it, but I put it on speaker. Jackson, you there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Um, y you doing okay there, boss? Where are you? I'm doing fine. Listen, I just got off the, I just got the phone with management over there at the hotel. God, the phone tree is fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. Part, our part of my speech. Uh, I don't know. I th don't know where this information came up about there being a murder, but I did see that something about, uh, that one prankster guy, that uh, guy that was popular back in the early 2000s, uh, Wongus TV or something, um, something about him pulling or causing or causing a commotion and uh, getting into the convention with a fa with a falsified ID. Um, I just want to check in, make sure y'all or y'all were okay. You did sound like you were kind of freaking out a bit there. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm trying to. Get and book another hotel in the area, but they are mostly booked. Are all mostly all booked? Um, have you spoken with? Have you spoken with security at all? Because um, suppose I was trying to get get some get some more information down there from the receptionist. She said that uh, she spoke with Mecca, and that supposedly she had called the police. And just try to walk me through what's going on, what's uh, going gone on so far since y'all have gone there. I think the three of that... us together will will give the best of the explanation we can give. I see. And how is JoJo doing? I haven't heard from her. Uh, it, I do. Yeah. We, we do not know. We haven't seen her for a while. And plus, you messaged us in the most peculiar of way. I think someone may have spoofed your number. Really? Uh, I did hear that there Saying was some... that you're here at, uh, at JoJo's booth. Really? That can't be right. I've been trying to contact JoJo all evening ever since I got the phone call from y'all. She's either not picking up or her phone is said or something. Hmm. Uh, well... Uh, yeah, she, she and uh, Heartful Hadley's mun are, are uh, hanging out last I checked. Really? Oh. Yes. Yeah, I mean, no. the booths are right next to each other. They seem to have made good. I see. Well, I'm glad that you all have been getting into networking and such. But I um, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I'm really sorry that we're struggle. I'm sorry that all this happened to you. Um, hopefully, at the very least, we can just get another room that's away from this uh, quote-unquote dead body uh, outside of oh, yours. Because... We can get Hopefully we can get the bloody penthouse, because we deserve it at this point. <laughs> I'll see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, keep in touch. Don't be a stranger. Um, and that'll be all. Have a good night. Hangs up, passes uh, yeah, the phone yeah. back to Bones. <laughs> Sets it down on the table, puts his head down on top of it, and just goes, Oh, God. And then begins to recite yet another prayer. Uh, it is you currently... Know, this... This sounds oddly familiar. This almost, it almost sounds oddly familiar to the add-on for Cyberpunk 2066 called Ghosts of Freedom. Very, uh, very I, I, peculiar. I <laughs> uh, I, 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 you know, cyberpunk's generally your thing. I, uh, I try not to step on anyone's toes and such, but like, I mean, if you recognize the sort of stuff that's that's happening, then, uh, well, uh, I mean, it, uh, that, that's ridiculous, though, right? Like, we don't, you know, video game stuff don't happen in real life. No, but the concept of AI has been around for a very long while. The laws of robotics. Seems like it may have broken the first law. What, what, don't talk about robotics? <laughs> I think a certain thing camera, has become waits, sentient. Right. <laughs> There's just a pause, and then... 
Uh, we gonna have to deal with this. We gotta, we gotta find Jojo. Indeed, she is our first priority to then get her to safety and then try and figure all this out. Because now we are pretty much nearly prime suspects in this. Even though they may have caught the person, but I don't think it's over. Not by a long shot. There is a, a little breath, and then I unshoulder my backpack, and I open it up, and it's got a bunch of my, like, ghost hunting equipment in it. I've got, like, an EMF that meter and, like, a sound thing. And I just go, I mean, I don't know what I can do with, with my stuff, uh, like, mm. but we gotta, we gotta find Jojo. All right, well... Uh, I swear to God, if I see another bit of blood, I'm gonna up Chuck. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think of a organic way to explain what happens next. Who has well, their make phone? It inorganic. We are looking at robots. <laughs> That's true. Uh, how many phones are? Who has their phones and and or and or other social media stuff out right now? Like Bones connection. has got his on the table. Okay. Um, would you? Would it? Would your? Would your social media be open in any capacity? Like Twitter? Yeah, I, Bird Space, I probably whatever. got like a the multitasking open. Like I've got the the overlay widget for uh my my Y account that was uh recently was called Twitter, but then uh, Ilongo <laughs> Muscatina took care of it. Oh, and you know how these social media platforms just love to elevate and put on trending anything that could possibly uh, draw the most eyes and most attention, right? Of course. For example, and since, for example, in the events that um, a certain prankster just happened to get his comeuppance in a most hilariously uh, on-point manner. Excellent. Hashtag putting his mouth where putting his mouth where his money is. Hashtag pranks gone wrong. Hashtag or hashtag karma bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. When you do you Amazing. decide to follow the chart, take a look at the trends. Yeah, I'll I'll tap on I'll tap on the first one. You tap on the first one and it's the and the first trend, it's mostly people complaining very or very blatantly about Wonga's TV, how he's old hat, how his content is kind of distasteful, and how um he hasn't moved on with the rest of society as if streaming culture was any better in that day and age. As you run, go, try to go through the threads, they run into some people that are accusing those thread, the people making those threads of being uh, misanthropic, of too, so some of them are saying hashtag too soon, others are saying hash, things like hashtag, or saying things like no matter what kind of person he is, he didn't deserve that, without actually talking about what it is that happened. In the past few minutes. Interesting. Because, you know, social media doesn't like it when you use certain keywords. Interesting. As you continue oh. to... Sorry. Go on. As you continue to scroll through the very variety of tweets, you look through... You see a number of posts which... Are have sensor that have CWs and sensor bars over them. By the time you click on most of these things, they unfortunately four or four outs, or have show a screen saying they've just been deleted, either by sure. the people, either by the um, people running uh, the Y site, or by the users themselves. That's when you run into one and you 
open it up just in time to see a glimpse. A glimpse of a oddly, strangely familiar person holding a sign and both that's been stapled to both of his hands, which says, I'm sorry, this is not a prank. Oh, Hanging boy. from the rafters of the lobby that you had just left. Oh, Jesus. And then the tweet, and then the yeet gets yeeted. <laughs> it's, they're definitely called yeets. Mm -hmm. That's the best. Something tells you, oh, this has only just begun. And the, the yeah. theme music begins playing in the background. All of us look up at the camera and it freeze frames and the credits for this episode start rolling. Indeed. I this... already have the perfect thing to play. It makes <laughs> one wonder why... Mr. Popo? Especially... No, if you listen to it. Oh, boy. I love it. Called it. <laughs> Amazing. Is this Halo? All right, All excellent. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, that's uh, it. Also, of course, adds some more questions, which is the point. But yeah, I figured that's a great way to start to uh, to end it on because as I was discussing in the background, there's no way we're gonna be able to finish this tonight. I'm so sorry. Oh no, no, <laughs> this this will have to be a two pile. Yeah. At least, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, this was super fun. Thank you so much for running it for us. No problem. Uh, thank you very much for coming. I'm glad that I did not decide to cancel at the last minute because this worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, frankly. for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and do some outros then. Of course, I am Cosmo Bergamot. I am the the, the magician streamer that uh, you can come to if you want to learn about magic and things. The next thing that I will be doing is on Monday afternoon at, uh, I guess, 3 p.m. or so UTC plus one, where we'll be playing some more retro Magic the Gathering games. Mm -hmm. uh, Mecca, what are you doing where next and where can we find you? Um, I will be on Mecca TV VA. Um, I will probably be playing either Cyberpunk or Borders Gate 3 modded um, on Monday. But again, obviously, with my training at this moment in time for me going for my midterms, uh, streams are going to be a bit more or less until the 19th. Um, that's when I'm going to start pushing more streams coming out because obviously it's the Christmas season. It's, it's better that way. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. All right, wonderful. And uh, Vilna Legend, what about you? What are you doing? Where can we find you? Well, I don't have any streams coming up soon, but I will be working on my uh, Twitch channel and everything for it. And you can find me in Discord. I do have an account on Blue Sky as well. Excellent. Hey. And All right. I'll I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Wonderful then. Yeah, we're looking forward to a uh, a, a brand new thing that has not yet been announced fully yet for you. And then, of course, uh, our our dear host, Lols. Uh, I have not streamed in quite a long time, and unfortunately it shows, but I am glad to be back. The meet the uh, issues I've been dealing with with real life have been stabilizing a little bit. It's just a matter of um, getting over, uh, you know, it's, it's that time of the year where things are kind of harsh, um, and also um, just some personal things I've been trying to uh, clean up in the background. I have also since moved to blue sky uh because twitter is actually becoming difficult to use in its original capacity um so i can be found there i'll be updating my about page and other socials uh shortly i'm also tomorrow is my vtuber anniversary it'll be two years as a vtuber Congrats. uh thank you um basically i start my first stream that i could find the early the, late, the earliest stream i could find was one from october 31st 2021 <laughs> when I was actually making this model and I was still I was streaming with the default Vroid model at the time. And I finished this, finished the uh, creature that would become Lawler Hicks on November the 5th. That's why I consider tomorrow my V2 anniversary. I want to Excellent. do, and yeah, I, I, am, I was planning on uh, popping into VR chat for the first time in forever and basically doing just a just chatting stream, just talking about my experiences as a VTuber 
and uh, hang out with people. Nothing too fancy. I've unfortunately learned the hard way that I'm just not in a position to do all the extended hyper lore stuff that I did in the past. There was going to be... This past week was supposed to be another arc, believe it or not. Unfortunately, that's largely collapsed, and part of that is the fact that when you rely on social media to run the arc and the social media doesn't want to work, it's kind of impossible. Um, so Fair. I guess I'll see y'all when case. I see y'all. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We'll make sure that uh, everyone is, is doing their good stuff. Ah! Uh, all right, well, this was, this was super great then. I am very happy about it. Mm -hmm. I hope that uh, next time around we'll be able to do something just like the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, I really, really need to go off and uh, do some bio. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much, and thank you very much, Lulz, for hosting. No problem. Anytime. Thank you for coming, and I'll see y'all when we reschedule the next one. All right. Ciao, everybody. Ciao. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs> Is it bad I may know what happened already? Oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I am pretty good at predictions. <laughs>